The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. I ain't even tell y'all. Uh oh. I went out Friday night. It wasn't really out for me. Like, went up the street to the restaurant, get a little bite to eat with my lady. Mm, okay. Mm. What restaurant? Uh, spot? He's trying not to make it hot. Oh, he's already did that. He put the spot no, not, on. No, not D. I'm not oh, talking okay. about D. I'm talking about over here. Oh, oh I got you. The other joint. So I go over there. Yo, but listen, we worked so long the other day. When I left here, I didn't know what day it was. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you I didn't know what day it was. So when I walked over there, I had on like sweats. The valet nigga was acting all weird. I didn't pick up on this till late. <laughs> I pull up. This is my first time even driving there. Because they got a reliable valet. Valet nigga, you want to keep it in the front? Hey, do what you want with it, though. You got to go get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. But since you asked me in front of my lady... <laughs> Yeah. Keep it in the front, because I got an ego and pride. <laughs> so it's going to be a... I said, well, how much? He started mumbling. Ugh. I said, oh, you don't even know. You freestyling. Oh, you little niggas. All right, cool. Go ahead, get me. I got it. I'm a mark. Come on. I support the kids. What is it? It was $20. So it's 10 and 20 to put it right there? To put it... Nigga, what? You know how long I've been parking right there? <laughs> <laughs> but cool. I thought that was strange. A lot of cars in the street. I thought that was strange. I get to the front. It's a big security guard out there. I never seen nothing like this before. He like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He got on sweats. Black sweatsuit. I'm like, nigga, that's the vibe. I'm coming to sit at the bar. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway, long story less long. I say, all right, you wait right here, buddy. I make a phone call. Get me and my lady where we got to go. Get up to the whole bar. It's packed. I'm thinking that's odd, too. I don't know it's Friday, yo. <laughs> yo. I swear to God, I'm looking at the whole world like, yo, it's so weird energy. Is Tuesday. Mercury in <laughs> retrograde? <laughs> <in the rain? laughs> so I get two little seats at the end of the bar, cool. And who do I see? You guessed it, Big Mel Ford. <laughs> oh, Big Mel Ford in the building. Let me get right to my punchline. <laughs> Big Mel in there with a homegirl. Ah, ah, ah. A uh, whole different outfit than she parted with. That's when it hit me that it was a different day. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was Friday or some shit. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I got to see Mel seated right not too far away from me on a Friday night in the hot spot in a different <laughs> outfit than you was at work with with a homegirl already. Did you send him around? You pulled this off in 30 minutes. <laughs> so I, I'm telling y'all this, and I'm starting with this just to say that I got to see Mel, because we be in here talking in a bubble. Yo, we be mm. in here talking from our little entertainment bubbles, our fucking what we just we just be out of touch sometimes. I got to see Big Mel <laughs> in the spot on a Friday night. Dog, them 60-year-old Iranian <laughs> niggas, boy, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Them, th that 60 to 70, but work out a little, jewelry, part of the mob. <laughs> Them niggas, we'll never think of that. When I tell you, whoa, them niggas, she was, had them? Them niggas was Chappelle. Did she have them, though? Wrapped around, silly putty. Woo. Si malleable. <laughs> mm. Malleable. <laughs> Mel word of the Big day. Big for. Come um, on. Nice. And I was sitting there just like a proud brother, like, oh, shit. There's other niggas in the world. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole oh, nother subgroup of niggas out there that this bullshit be working on. <laughs> now with her little hair twirling, her little, ha, you just laughing and shit that wasn't funny. I was watching you. I was watching you, me and my girl. <laughs> I know, that was the highlight. That, oh, that, that was our whole, whole show. Night. Whole that show. was our whole Friday night. I'll sit right there. Nah, I ain't got, I'm good. Oh, yeah, now nah, we got the people watch. With people we know. <laughs> Don't get no bad. Nah, she had them 70 year old A red gangster <laughs> niggas in a frenzy, boy. Mm, I was holding court. Nah, for real. It was fun. We had a good time. Mm. Nice. Yeah. My man is here, though. My man is huh? here. 
Salute. No <laughs> call, no show the other day. <laughs> we missed you, Flip. <laughs> we missed y'all too. Y'all didn't acknowledge me. <laughs> we but, thought you were going to show wait, up wait, at some wait, point. But wait, what do you mean? You guys, well, I was exploring the comments, mm. and they uh, exploring the comments. brought That's it to my attention to that, yo, they didn't even acknowledge that Flip is not there, when you know, which they usually do. Comment gangster right there. I said, okay, that's kind of odd, but that's not true. We thought you would show up. Sometimes you don't be here at the beginning. And we, you nah, know I mean? don't, 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 don't comment on my tardiness. Listen, <laughs> I, um, I sent a text to my brothers and sisters, and I told them what was going on. And I didn't get a text from you. I didn't either. I didn't either. I apologize. I'll do better next time. <laughs> so you just lied? <laughs> no. I, didn't I speak to you? I got to that's speak. one brother. That's not brothers. That's one my, sister. Yeah. And then I spoke to oh, Ian. Yeah. Mm. I don't fuck with him like that. <laughs> that's, not, that's not true? <laughs> that don't mean nothing to me. Ian don't got a pod with yeah, you. Yeah, that don't work with me. I spoke to Ian, your man. Too many niggas try to get that off of me. I got fuck a couple Ian. of... I, got I a need couple. to hear from you as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> it sound different coming from you. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, Ian you. could tell me, but you my man. I ain't get that call from you. <laughs> You're using that against I ain't you. get that text from you. It hurts. Hey, yo, all you got to do is... We already discussed this already. You my man, though. No call, no show. Don't do that to me, Joe. No call, no show. I, balcony is there. Balcony is there. I got a couple of texts asking if you were suspended. Mm. Oh, they want me to be suspended. I'm not, I, I, I don't get suspended anymore. And I'm not going to get myself suspended. I'm here to work. I'm here to, to do my time. Do my time. <laughs> time. <laughs> time. Is this jail you? <laughs> I, mean, do my I, I, I love it. I love it. And I'm just having fun, man. I'm having fun. And my man, you know what you got to do? I love you. I love you. Got on the phone. It was good to hear your voice. You know, you sounded happy to speak to me. Very calm. So you know what my problem is with you? <laughs> this is my problem with you. Sorry. And this is the problem I have just with people that I'm meeting like now in my life, like just hanging out, getting to know me a little better. Got you. I'm mad you don't know like the old me. <laughs> Why not? Because you and your head have a logical path that you think this should head toward. Mm -hmm. And I like to shake shit up. <laughs> You should. I like to get shaky. <laughs> but let me I ask like you. to <laughs> live in La Vida Loco with the shit. So if, if, I met, if I met the old... Shakira, nigga, with if, the shit. If I met the old you with the current me, how do you, how do you think that would... I'm all... I'm listen, like, I'm all joking right now. Y'all have I'm seven all, fair ones by now. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> at least. At least seven. Yeah. I heard the old you was turned up, and I like that. That's what I, I like. like I like to get shaky, shaky. <laughs> I think that, you know, I, I, for you. Oh, dude. That's not, that's, that's a, it's, it's, it's so peaceful. That's, so, that's so toxic to look forward to getting shaky. Mm. It's so peaceful. That is life. such a toxic trait. But I'm not where I want to be let with like my maturity level. Actually, I wanted to start this pod with like some humility. They saying, they saying, I mean, we in our little New York high horse with inflation and high rents and mortgages and all this tax shit, they talking shit. So I wanted to start with some humility. I wanted to go around the room <clears throat> and everybody uh, say why y'all not better than nobody out there. I'll go ahead and give it a start. And I'm not going to stop. I don't care what y'all say. I like to dig up my nose in public. <laughs> <laughs> I do. That's my, you do. That's my shit on the line. That nigga, that nigga do that shit in a heartbeat That's about, too. I don't care. <laughs> I do All it. the way to the knuckles. I, I do it with somebody in my face talking to me. <laughs> that nigga be up there. I get in there, man. Man, you fart in public, yo. Yes, you do. I don't have a problem with that either. No, yeah. you don't. Yeah. I don't see what the... This nigga fart in the elevator. What are you about... <laughs> <Yeah>. What y'all <laughs> disrespectful. What y'all do when it comes like, clench your ass cheeks tight? Yeah. And wait till I get in the car and get some That's crazy. Yeah, that's, 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 that's crazy to admit to that. Either that I'm a, or I'm a poop. <laughs> yo, 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 dog. Hey, hey, big dog. Poop? Yo, my man. I agree with him. Yo, don't ever say poop. Wait, so you okay. holding what your ass cheeks too to hold a fart? Yeah, I'm not letting that shit out in front of hey, yo, people. Yo, you yeah. grown ass Holy men are pooting? Shit. You guys yo, are rude you and y'all disgusting. Y'all have no manners. You got this man I gets understand. up and fought. He walks and fought all over the place. Yeah. You fart I just with so reckless abandon. Yeah. It, it made me want to ask the rest of the guys, like, is that just is that a guy thing? No, no. it's a Joe thing. Oh, <laughs> fuck no, like, we don't do that. No, that nigga be in mid combo and <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, my nigga. It's like he can't control and can't control himself. No, that beat your ass in the jail. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> they <laughs> didn't. They would be. They didn't. I was, I was fine. And you wasn't farting in front of the niggas like that. Stay too long, but I was fine. <laughs> you wanted to do like I don't go. understand people that's clenching their ass cheeks together to stop a fart. It's a bodily or function. Or you just let it slip out. Like you, you force sit on something shit. soft. Hey yo, oh, oh, fart. Right. <laughs> that sounds crazy. <laughs> a worm. 
That's where you gotta get it out, though. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. 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 what's up right. with you? You can't get it out hard. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with the thing, fuck? Oh, if man. y'all think I fart foul, and we're not starting with farts, <laughs> we are. But we are kind of are. <laughs> Well, we not. I asked the room a question, and we spent five minutes harping on Joe's answer. You can think of your own. You can think of your own, too. No worries. It's coming around, so split up the laughter time with the thinking time. Don't piggyback off me. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's up? Anyway, if y'all think I fart crazy around y'all, y'all got to see me in the crib with my girl. With a blanket? No, it don't matter, so, though. No, when, it's when I can trap it. Trap it? Oh, uh, you still do the, what's the And I do this, Dutch too. I, I live up. Yeah. <laughs> All day. I make sure to get it good. Yeah. Well, I fuck with that. Uh, no, let's start no, with no, parks. No, no, ain't no ladies first. Yeah. Well, parks. Ladies? All right, parks. Um, damn, that's a hard question. Come back to me. Come back to uh, me. What do you know? Yeah. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> uh, my ability is easy. I can't dress for shit. Y'all all out dress me. Everybody out there. So I don't think I'm better than y'all. Okay, look at Freeze. That ish. <laughs> this is the one right here. Yo, dog, this podcast about to stop being about me. I'm, what, nigga, we going around? We going around. 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 How is it about you? Why is the one? This the one, though. Because of, because yeah, you think you're better than everybody. I do. Yes, that, you that, do. Yeah, you, you, you do. You believe that? Bam, can you answer the question? I don't, Your I can't newest think brother. Of right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Why am I not better? I, don't, I can't think neither. <laughs> Because um, we're just regular guys. That's all it is. Got we're it. just regular dudes like everybody else. Said, listen, my confidence won't allow me to. Got it. Just <laughs> <laughs> me and myself. That's my, that's my brother right there. What about Mel? I don't think Ish think he's better than everybody. <laughs> Not everybody. Anybody? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm rock with you. <laughs> I'm rock with you on that. I am better than some of these niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Couple. I not better than anybody. Um, I take public transportation sometimes. <laughs> oh, come on, uh, yo! All tell right, us stop, tell us stop, tell us okay. stop. I'll turn up uh, with the bus. I kind of want you to turn up in New York Mel, City. Mel, what the? You gonna let us say that? <laughs> you be let us say shit and get away with it. I tell got us. my Mel T-shirt. Don't make me get my Mel <laughs> T-shirt. I want to see it. Let me get one. That shit okay, well, I don't know which. Okay, <laughs> oh, do you want me to do strange single one. behavior? <laughs> like you know, sometimes. Mel, is that Mel. Your, that's your final answer, dead ass. Public transportation. Come what on, we say, what is the question? Bloomberg to but Mel, Hold on, motherfucker. <laughs> Mayor <Mania> Bloomberg to motherfucker. <laughs> hold on the train. This nigga. was a question <laughs> as like to, this. there's a question as to. I want to let y'all know, if y'all say that about Ish, how do y'all not say that about Mel? Because she answered the question, but her answer was just nonsense. But you know Mel thinks she's better than a couple of these bitches. <laughs> Mel thinks she's better than a couple of these bitches. Mel thinks she's better than a couple of these bitches. She knows she's better than a couple of these bitches. Yeah, come on. I mean, I don't really try Mel and do Mel with a theme kind of... song on her head, nigga. She, she I do do I that. I seen what she did with the 70-year-old uh, Iranian nigga. I do. I walk in the room like I'm six feet tall, okay? I just, look, I think that what? We're talking about... Ways in which we don't think we're better than people. Right? I just want to show y'all how fast, very quick questions die around here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's just a simple question that we struggle with. Niggas was not trying to answer that, was that a hard question. question. It is. We, that no I more. guess that says something about us. Right? Yes, mm. yes, it does. Yeah, we're all normal. Nah, yeah. say something else too. Y'all ain't as humble. <sighs> That I'm as too. normal as I was going to be coming, coming from the environment that I came from. Mm -hmm. I'm jacking it. If, if the drug dealers could do it, I could do it. I'm taking that. Mm. Word. Yeah. Salute. My childhood traumas. <laughs> By Joe Buddy. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I'm dead ass. No, it's I'm, I'm it's mad at y'all out there that don't even know, know all of the struggle and trauma that came with your mom or your dad having to hold it down for you. You don't even know. Y'all don't even That's know. True. That's We're, true. That's a fact. That's a fact. have no That's idea. That's like, true. None. They made it look I, good, I, though. I speak to both my parents. Mm -hmm. I'm aware of what they was on, like, in the five years leading up to me. It was a lot going on in the projects in Spanish Harlem uh, in the 70s. <laughs> So for me to be this, <laughs> listen, uh, buddy. That's a fact. But they did a good yeah. job. That's before I get to how I fuck everything in life up. Before I even get to that. That's a fact. Add all that's my fact. fuck ups in. That's a fact. That's a fact. And I get to be this? <laughs> Shit, I'm taking it, buddy. I'm taking it. I'm jacking that. I'll take that if the price is right any day. <laughs> it's a good one. Okay. 
I don't know how we led to that. I don't either. I'm still waiting on a Parks and Ish answer, but it's fine. Our guest here. I don't think I'm better than Wait, our guest here. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. You heard a bad mix. Yes, you did. And it was like, ugh. Send it to me next time. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, shit. Woo! Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> oh, Hi, shit. Ladies. What's up? Hi. <laughs> oh, hey, y'all. Hi. What's happening? Hey, what's up? What's good? What's up? What's up? Ice, how you doing? I'm good. How you? How everybody doing? <laughs> I'm a little short. I feel like my legs. God damn, y'all came in, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. No, 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 no. Big poor minds. Hold up. Big poor minds. Don't forget the big. Don't forget the big. What they talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Hold up. I got to intro this pod, man. Oh, I'm so happy to see y'all. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, y'all gotta answer our question first. Mm-hmm. We starting with tell tell the audience why you ain't better than nobody out there. We starting with humility. My answer was I dig up my nose in public. <laughs> then they a- added to my answer and said I fart in public. I didn't see a problem with that, but whatever, I'm weird. Okay. Yeah, that was like All right, why it's your you turn. the dirty stuff. I don't even view that as the dirty stuff. <laughs> Yeah. That's not in my dirty stuff true. folder. That's true. Oh, you want to go in that folder, girl? No. Yo, no. Dig, digging in your nose in public ain't dirty to you? Not when I do it. <laughs> Wait. And then where do you put it at? Where do you put oh, it at? Oh, God. Where do you put it at? Put it on your pants? If, if somebody else do it, and yes. And a nigga right on you up. What up, my nigga? Saying? You be like. I was going to say, he probably be wiping it on you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Y'all ready yeah. to fight? This is what happened. the first time we asked it. it. Do, y- do y'all have an answer? I was just using me as an example. Oh, How about you? Oh, I feel it's like so tough getting that mirror, man. I feel like sometimes I, you know, I eat before I brush my teeth in the morning. Okay. Oh my right. gosh! Scandalous. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm like that's the first thing you're supposed to do when you wake up, and I be going against the grain. I'm a rebel. <laughs> I be waiting like a few hours. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't feel like I don't do anything like weird. That, you know what? I think I'm weird because I always live my life like, oh my God, what if somebody's watching me right now? Like I always think somebody has a secret camera in my house that set up when I was leaving. So I'm just, I just so do you everything. know about the spy store. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I Queens. really do live my life like that. So I don't even think there's nothing that I do that's like weird. So I mean, you're not okay. humble. Then. I snore right. like I sound like a nigga <laughs> when I'm sleep. Mean. So so you're not humble then. Right. Oh <laughs> Maybe no, this... I am. I mean, I sound like a nigga when I sleep. I snore loud. Like it's not nothing. Like oh, it's cute. She sleeps. Yeah. There you go. Don't yeah, try to say it. Give it like it's that's a bear true. in the next room. I have so much to say to you. <laughs> Help the bear. I have so much to say to you, girl. Why? <sighs> I didn't even start the point. I have so much Did to say. Because I'm looking at you. No, nah, I know. What you tell? Listen, let me tell you how they got here, first of all. Or should I start the pop first? I should start, right? Go ahead. I should start. Start the yeah, let me start. Yeah. Let me start. Oh, yeah. look at you. Oh, wait, don't. Look who the fuck is you? Oh, oh my God. I hate this nigga. Oh, we got some fun today, boy. <laughs> Microphone check, one, two, what is this? New Japan. What episode is this? 663. Welcome to episode 663 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few Really amazing people. And I got more people on the way. I ain't playing. Oh, Lord. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, 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 fuck that. Mike, y'all got this Fuck that. Game. Hey, you feel <laughs> freaky? No. <laughs> no. Whoa. No. That's, how it works. See, That's how it starts. We are not starting Oh, you got another right. friend? <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all both cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was. Oh yeah, both kind of. All right. Oh man. All right. We got a, a really amazing set of people here. Uh, we got Big Mel M4 in the building. Hootie who? My main man Flip. Y'all know the fucking vibe. Queens all day. Uh. Salute, salute, Big salute. issues in the building. 
Live, Barry. Uh, Ice is here. Parks is here. Corey is here. Poe is here. Erickson is here. And last but certainly not least. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> big fucking Lex, huh? 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 Yeah, Never the is. little ex, uh, little Lex. Yeah. Never that. Big Drea. <laughs> Don't forget the beautiful, the la- beautiful ladies of the Poor Minds podcast. Hi. Are here with us. Thank you. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Thank you. Thank you. Now, that was an amazing intro. Now, yesterday, thank you, thank you. Look at this. <laughs> this is my girl right there. Now, yesterday, uh, you guys have been on my mind and in my spirit this past month. And I've been meaning to reach out to you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I didn't get around to it until yesterday. I reached out to Lex because you guys just were so in my spirit and in my heart. And when that happens, the universe... (sighs) Inspires. The universe... For you. I'm telling you something about mindset, mood set. Mm -hmm. I reached out to Lex. I said, it's time. We'd love to have you again. And Lex said, well, that's funny. We're in New York tomorrow. Mm. Mm. (laughs) Top is crazy. Immediately, I said to myself, look at God. Damn. Save money on the tramp. That's <laughs> the airplane. The hotel. Got that flight credit. <laughs> That's always great when you can get a nut on another nigga dime. That's real. No, no, duh. I'm, that was a metaphor, yeah. silly. Oh, oh my god. So but yes. Uh, so look how that works. Yeah. Look how that works. Mm-hmm. I'm excited about that. How are y'all doing? We are great. Uh, we have the reason we came out here is because um, we have a show with our amp, and they put us a billboard up in Times Square. So you know we had to go do the the pictures and get the content. Wait, yeah. so now as soon as you say that, because you told me that yesterday, mm-hmm. now it makes it look like Amp made me have y'all on, <laughs> and I totally did not know that y'all had a show on Amp. You until didn't you told even me. know, yeah. Until you told me, yeah. I actually yeah. listened to y'all show last week. You did, did you, you like, like it? it? I did. My, yeah, it's, you know, it's dope. like you know, my girl is. Yeah. She loved y'all. Yeah. So I she was like, yo, I'm listening to that. I was like, oh, they got a show. Let me check them out. Yeah. She was it's like, fun. I'm looking at y'all different. now. Y'all, y'all, things have changed since the last time. <laughs> like, so what? Yeah. You see it, right? Nothing has changed. Can, can, we, can we quickly just address the changes? <laughs> Flip, are you familiar with these young ladies? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> how, can, how can I debrief you really fast? <laughs> Wait, <please. laughs> Damn, but my debrief is different from the regular debrief. Uh, just do a regular one. All right, a, reg- regular. a regular one is uh, this is this is evil spice. Okay, Dre is evil spice. Got it. Big sis to who used to be a really pure and innocent spice. Got it. Mm-hmm. But once they got together and said, you know what, let's take this operation over to the A from from the H from H Town. Got it. Big talk. <laughs> Big talk now. <laughs> big, look, look, yeah, look. Don't look. forget the B. The hair is hair, girl. Oh, you see it. You see it? <laughs> see it. it looks great. What has changed since you guys have last seen us? No, nothing has changed. See? I mean. See? No, see? See? Again, not being Last humble. time we was doing it big, still doing it big. You feel me? Yeah, I'm trying to feel it. You know. <laughs> okay, well, last time it was. <laughs> we was kicking it. We was, you know. <laughs> That was a little slide. It looked like they're getting some money. No, she had a Michael Kors on last time she came in. Oh, what? No, that, she... that wrist game looked a little different. <laughs> yeah, it looked Drea, a little different. Drea, what? her wrist game is looking different. This what? is the same watch I had. Oh, that is the same watch she nah, had. Nah, it looked different now. No, it's her different. wrist looking it different, different too. See how different. he plays? Oh, you got to watch her. You watch her? You got to watch her. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> listen, I'm glad that y'all are here to talk about these, talk about whatever the fuck we about to talk about. Salute. Just, this is awesome. Let's Salute, baby. Mm. All right, Taylor Swift. Oh God! I'm back to it. I'm fed up. I'm right. I'm done. Right, 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 right. That's hate. That's hate. I, I saw y'all was annoyed with me the last broadcast. I don't care. No. I'm right back mm. to it. I'm done mm. with that bullshit now. Why, fam? It's, They're doing it, too much. It's, 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 Who, who's doing too much? The NFL. The NFL. Everyone. Nigga, take advantage. They take are advantage. the great they, white hope. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me out. Somebody, let me hear. Bro, it's at this point. It's like they're not even hiding it. Why? That's the thing. This is a clear partnership here. You can yeah. see it. Salute. You say yeah. salute. So you think that, do you think that relationship is real? No. You no. think it's PR? Yes. A thousand percent. Mm. Really? A thousand percent. I don't think that. I think 
the worst part about the whole thing is how everybody just has been dragging Kayla Nicole for no yeah. reason. Right. That's the part yeah. I've been, been hating quiet. about it. Yeah. And she ain't even said nothing. Yeah. Like his ex from like eight years ago went she, on ET. She was like, oh, it's my time to shine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She said, I we didn't even ask you, Bookie. We not, <laughs> real, like, real niggas not even calling her that. Yeah, we don't fuck yeah. well. That's yeah. just Shorty that's, from the show yeah. looking that's stupid. Yeah. That was weird. Oh, that's Shorty from a couple of years ago. They were dragging Kayla his ex. For those of you at home keeping count here, Taylor Swift made her way back to the fucking airway. She back to what's this? MetLife? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Back to MetLife for the uh, Chiefs Jets game. Uh, this was the highest rated Sunday night game, right, since the Super Bowl. No, totally beat the Super Bowl in terms of viewership. Uh, that's so weird. That's crazy. That's crazy. The camera kept panning to her. Fam. The whole time. The whole time. Isaiah Pacheco Luke. scored a touchdown, and they didn't even they show it. his celebration because they <laughs> ran the camera to it's show her in the box dapping everybody up. Mm. They are, they're going to find a way to put her on the camera. Capitalism. I take, I'm, I'm, I'm taking some of my sauce off of Taylor Swift, and I'm putting it to the NFL. I may have been a little harsh with Taylor Swift just because I got a thing with, like, linky, doofy-looking people. <laughs> if I take my now, see the Swifties coming after your they, ass. About to I don't want no parts. Hey, he took on K-pop. Yeah, I'm not. Like, oh, you don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, me. He took on BTS. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me. He took on BTS yeah, in one. On. Yeah, he did. Wait, <laughs> no. <laughs> I brought sent them niggas to the army. <laughs> don't play K-pop with me. K-pop fans don't play. But oh, but wait. but listen, taking the emotion out of it for me. You got to respect Taylor Swift. You just, there's too much money that moves when she enters the room. Mm-hmm. I agree. So I can't call her a clout chaser because you are who you are. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't help that the cameras are going to pan to you every second. You can't help that they're going to take foot, footage of you and not Wolverine and dude behind you from Marvel. Uh, who was the other dude? Ryan Reynolds was Ryan there. Blake Lively was there. Was she Wolverine brought her whole crew. and Ryan Reynolds. The yeah. camera panned to only her. She can't help that. After rethinking, Taylor Swift is not the person, I'm sure, who let the NFL know I'm coming to the game next week or whenever that is. And on the first commercial, she announced her mm-hmm. her, uh, her, her tour is in theaters. Her tour is in theaters. Mm-hmm. Beyonce's tour, I want to say, is also going it's to December first. Yeah. Yeah. I told y'all. There, I told y'all there was a little synergy there. But anyway, going to Taylor now. I totally see whoever is behind her now. The machine. They're running it up. Going to the NFL, buying all of the slot time, mm-hmm. going to Amazon, going to somebody, and cutting the biggest check that you've ever seen. And now I have to roll out my artist. On your platform, and I think this is a business situation that wins for everybody. My 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 weird look now is to the NFL. Mm. They're doing too much, way too much, bro. They look Did like horse. Some jerseys like increase so. in sales they or something like four hundred percent. Everything yeah. increased. Like the 100%. Kansas City Chiefs, their Instagram this is, page this, blew this is up. This bigger like, than Travis Kelsey yeah. now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This thing, this oh, he's this, no, he's gonna is, get steamrolled in, this, in the process. I don't mm. think I don't see why y'all mad at the NFL though. Yeah. They look like oh, some well, is, I'm going to tell is, you why. This the is NFL just a form like of hypercapitalism. The NFL look like they're selling ass. Yes, they absolutely. Are they exactly are selling ass. Like. I feel like they're selling ass. So now I mean, y'all got something against prostitution? <laughs> no. <laughs> and, don't, and don't, and don't <laughs> spread <laughs> that rumor. <laughs> they might hear you. <laughs> <laughs> they, heard, they heard us, all right? <laughs> they shut that shit down over there from Pennsylvania. We love prostitutes and what they do for the culture. Ooh, salute. He got serious. Salute. I know that's right. No, <laughs> <laughs> so look, I, just, I just think that if Homeboy is dating her, just say hypothetically it's a real relationship. Mm-hmm. And I got an opportunity to make some money off it and market it? Exactly. Why the fuck would I not step into that? Y'all saying the NFL whack. I think that's some smart shit. It's weird when you go to the NFL Twitter page and it's Taylor Swift's at the top of it. I wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah. Listen, when, when a regular America, second, Fox. third week game, fourth week game, hmm. had more viewership than the Super Bowl, I'm stepping into that shit. And next week, I hope she get back at the next year so I can sell some Doritos. So now let me ask you a question. Ass. Talk so about it. Up, yeah, yeah, nigga. Capitalism. So now, wait, wait. Fuck let me, ask, let me ask you a question now. How far, if you're the NFL, would you step into it? Would you... Would you All the way. Would you orchestrate things to make sure that this is successful for the team that she's there for? Would you now play into it that far? No. Because there's talks about why that call good came in that, that fucked point. up that game. Oh, that's and a good point, Ice. The NFL, now, let's play it the other way around. Let's say the Chiefs lose two games with Taylor Swift there. 
What do you think the fans is going to start saying? Mm -hmm. She's a curse. Mm -hmm. Get her out of here. Boo, boo, she boo. That's me. bad for business. That so now it's a, so now there is a there's an actual motivation here. Mm -hmm. Let's make this a win-win. You go to their Instagram page, the it's the NFL's Instagram page, the bio says on the NFL, not the Chiefs. The Chiefs are 2 and 0 as Swifties. Why is that on the NFL page, dog? Yeah, oh, that seems biased as hell. I just yeah. answered y'all. So I asked you a question. The fuck is you talking you about? We are answer his question though. Answer we, my question. Would you now, would that give you an incentive to make sure that they no. win? No. Because that helps you no. in this. I, I don't think so. No, I think I think that the Kansas City Chiefs have been the biggest show on turf for the last three or four years. Enough said. What the fuck is we talking about? They're a quality football team. They've been the best football team, damn near, arguably, in the NFL the last three or four years. They're going to win. They're going to win. They're not. They're not. I don't think that it's incentivized for them to win because Taylor Swift is here. But I definitely would put some motherfucking money up and start selling ads when I know she going to be at the next game. I just think that's good business. Okay. So I like your point. Phenomenal point that he ducked. I answered. Phenom I don't think you did, but that's fine. I, I said no. I don't think it's incentivized for them to win games because she did. You don't think it, look, it might look funny if some calls start going the, the other way? I think they're the Chiefs and they get calls regardless. I think it's like Michael Jordan effect. But mm -hmm. go ahead. I think you both can be right. I, what do you say to this? This is my problem with it. The NFL has long time been and branded themselves as the NFL. Private company that don't need none of y'all suck my dick. This is how we run it. This is how we feel. Don't care what y'all say about the owners, about none of the backlash to social injustice. We run our shit differently, and we can because I'm Roger Goodell, and this is what I do. This is what we do. You Super Bowl halftime performers, we're not paying none of y'all. Yeah, we know. We know who you are. You big, awesome, but we're not rocking with that. They've never looked like prior to Hove and prior and. That, that affiliation, Rock Nation affiliation with doing the last few black Super Bowls. They've never looked like they've been open to music culture. So now y'all going out of your way, y'all looking like mutts when the bad chick walk in the club. Y I've never seen Big Bad Wolf bend over backwards for music culture, and that's what's happening now. If, if you see what's happening with Taylor Swift and what she's doing in your numbers and your viewership and so forth and so on in week four, then why wouldn't you have embraced and accepted some of music's biggest acts in season, much like the NBA has done? Shit, much like baseball has even done now, beat mm -hmm. you to the punch with that. Because I think this happened. This is, this I think is this happened organic. This I don't think it happened I think organic. I don't think it happened organic at I don't, all. See, I don't think it happened organic. I do. And this shit is a slap in the fucking face now. I think because I, there's plenty of artists out there that you could do this with. You could take the creme de la creme, the top of the top, treat it like Vegas. O only them niggas could come over here and fuck with us. And you could see this spike in your viewership. And you're a business. So why wouldn't you want Super Bowl ratings every week? Because you've been big, bad Mr. NFL. And also, I don't think there's too many artists that are going to bring back. You, that, and, and, and you said, Swift, and you can't. Yeah, I was but just about also, to say that. That's, that's not true. Back door. That's not true. Like I can name a bunch. Is, is weird. No, you can't. That's gonna be Taylor Taylor Swift, you can't like name a bunch. Kid? I can name a bunch. I'm giving, give me five. Drake. Beyonce. One. Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. Drake, Drake. Kanye. You two, any of them legacy, uh, no. legacy you rock, too. rock. I don't know about now watch it, watch your no, mouth. Listen, it's, it's no. Remember the NFL it's is white. Football. It's, it's white. football. It's, it's white. white. It's American. They, 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 they Rolling Stones. Stop it! Yeah. Stop it! You're wrong. It's mad at them legacy yes. acts that they would roll out the red carpet for, and all of their audiences would pop up. Y'all say that, but when the country old white dude on Spotify had a problem and nobody knew who the fuck he was. All of his, what was it, Neil Armstrong? Mm -hmm. Whoever that, well, whoever that was, yeah. he made a dent, didn't he? I mean, he did. but he you did. gotta realize he the did. aspect he of like the yeah, young nah, crowd there's a long too. List. If you two you showed up at a game, yeah. it's not getting exactly. posted on the Shade Room exactly. and TMZ. And exactly. It's not, It's though. too much money at play for the Shade Room and TMZ. I mean, I get it, but it's, the it's, the it's big time money at play now. None of that is important, the Shade Room and TMZ. This girl appeals to a young demo. Yeah. Motherfuckers at 70 year old. Not just a young demo. Not a young demo. She appeals to all demos. Listen to what I'm saying. You're right, but the young demo is 
more easily influenced than older people. If you them do fucking show that, Jersey, we talking exactly. about it right here. Them fucking Jersey cells and all of that shit, that's young people being influenced by Taylor Swift. Listen, yeah. this is a movie. That ain't point. no fucking 80 believe, year old man do, out here running to buy a Kelsey believe jersey. There are a few acts, maybe not to this degree, because this is Super Bowl shit, mm -hmm. but that can increase their viewership, their attendance, engagement, their jersey sales, and their ad revenue if they aligned. I agree I, I with you, but what I'm saying is the topic, like even with them dating, exactly. that's why we're talking about exactly. it. Like if Jay Z and Beyonce went nah, that to was a, trip. a Texans game, that or was the trip. It's gonna go up. The sales of jerseys gonna go up. No, no, no. This Next is week going not gonna be. Yeah. But it's I'm going to stupid because of, of the that scandal. I, I, I'm off of that. I think, I think that's smoke and mirrors. I don't. That's a trip. I remember when he said, "Yo." I saw you at Arrowhead turn up, so why don't you come see me at Arrowhead? That's a script. Turn up? That's, yeah. that's a script. How yeah, do we know say that? that? That's a script. How do we know that? It's just what I believe. Because I've read scripts. All right. That's well, a script. That's what y'all believe. But bigger than that, every week they dating allegedly. Mm -hmm. No, they're so, not. Allegedly. But but you we said allegedly. But we smarter than that, so I want us to use our hands. I don't know that to right. be true. But you next know week that. it's gonna be like, oh, who she gonna come to the game with? And they gonna be too many. I don't know if that's true. So that's my point. So with those other legacy acts or those other big acts, you can't put a story behind why they're at the game. So you right. can't sell it in the same exact fashion yes, as this person. You can put person. a story behind why anybody Dog, is at the game. Dog, let me finish. You can't put a story as to why this girl is in the box office, at, I mean the box suite at every fucking Kansas City game. It is different. You can't do that with Beyonce. Because niggas but, know Beyonce's not dating some nigga off the fucking Jets. But the dog, TV at the same not. time, like it ain't even that her just being there. We knew... What was that? Monday morning that, that she was, was going to be there Sunday night. Because the NFL they all knows that she it's represents dollars. It's a rollout, roll bro. It's a rollout. This, roll this out. is a clear could, I'm not disagreeing with that part. obvious rollout. I'm, dis I'm talking about the story behind it. They have a story behind it that now makes it plausible for her to be at the game. No, Can they, somebody they script have, that? No, they have some of the best minds in the say, marketing business behind it. Right, but they have the some of the best. That that's it hard to replicate. Be somebody else. Yeah, like, it's it hard to replicate. Yeah. Yeah. That storyline. You can't put Beyonce in that storyline. You can't put fucking U2 in that storyline. You can't put which Bruce Springsteen in that storyline. So this girl is 20-something years old dating a, a fucking superstar. You write a different storyline. This is the storyline that works for her. It's not going to work line. every week. Dog. Yeah, you arguing a moot point. You arguing a moot point. Y'all ignoring my point. I Right though, yeah, I, think I, think it's right too. I still think it's nasty. I'm tired of seeing this shit. But people it, love he's, gossip. That he's this is right gossip. about what he's still only on the one point of you can't name five people. That's he, not no, what I'm talking about. Then what are you? Saying? I'm talking about what puts you two. Don't cut me off. What puts you two at a football game every week? You put you two in that. You is, said them. I know, but what that's put back to you. Of what the puts point. Beyonce in a football stadium every week? We have to write it. I know. And now it's just going to fall off at the end of one week. No, it's not. That's not I can true. put something there. I That's can do something. True. What was Beyonce at the game? Beyonce's 1% of this team. For the team, And yeah. now she's in the box. Right there. That team jerseys go up. That Attendance go up. Yo, 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 yo gotta stop. You are wrong. People want okay. And we've seen that a million wrong. times and it doesn't really work. And that don't by fucking the way. work. People want It don't man. work. We're talking You're about Beyonce. Wrong. We have not seen that with Beyonce at all. My nigga, they are dating. His jersey are not. Joe. The, the report to the world is they we'll are dating. dating. His, we'll for, say his dating. jersey sales went up 400%. Not the Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, that yes. one dude's jersey sales went up 400 fucking percent mm -hmm. based off the premise that they are dating. Mm -hmm. The Kansas City Chiefs jerseys, Mahomes jersey sales ain't selling off the fucking shelf. They are it's appealing true. to that particular girl and her romantic relationship with this guy. They're playing into it. You can't sell that with everybody, my nigga. So, no, you can't. No, you, That's what we're saying. Customize you a cut. different story right. for different people. It's going to die all, after All we're saying to you is this is a story. Gotcha. And this is teams of marketing geniuses behind this. It's not, and it's working. And it's working for all parties. Everybody's happy. But, but the NFL looks stupid. That's all. That's it. They do look stupid. When Isaiah Pacheco dance get cut off, that Dance get cut off because me. you got to cut to Taylor Swift. You look nuts. And I'm going to take it a step further than that because he ain't the only one that should be mad. Boy, I could see Roger Goodell running in Jay-Z office, putting the APB <laughs> out on Jermaine Dupri. I could see Usher getting a call in a second. Y'all keep on with this bullshit going on. Y'all don't think the NFL would much rather have Taylor Swift now Come kick us through oh up the Super Bowl halftime show. That's true. No, They're that's looking true. at numbers. That's yeah. true. 
That is true. Usher is there because Jay-Z and whoever we hired to do this is doing this. Mm -hmm. Somebody with a a big checkbook came in above you. Hey, hey. (laughs) And Kansas City makes it to the Super Bowl. Stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on, yo. Come on. I'm not this dumb. I've seen too many. I've seen too <laughs> many this scripts. Is a good script. Come nice. on. It is. I'm tuned in. Come on, man. <laughs> and this is why it works. Because you tuned in. <laughs> That's what yeah. I was saying. The Swifties though. are like, there. It's working because it's interesting. It's gossip. Are y'all Swifties? It's no, no. I, I'm, I'm a fan of everyone. <laughs> Me cancel. Oh, you more. big show. <laughs> <laughs> no, you oh, you big show. I that like bad. Taylor Swift, but I wouldn't call myself a Swiftie. Later, I want to talk about podcasters that are shook to talk on air, but it's cool. Oh Let's no, we don't be shook. You know, I actually do like say. Taylor Swift. Okay, I'm from Orange, Texas. Like, be for real. Like, I like country music. Yeah. Okay. You left Orange, like Texas. <laughs> you ain't in Orange, Texas. <laughs> a long, a long way from Orange, Texas. Now. Kansas, Hello, <laughs> the fuck they talking about? <laughs> you not in Texas anymore. Uh, oh, weak. Okay, you might as well start saying you from Atlanta at this point. Mm-hmm. We all think it anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, I'm done. I just I had to get that out out of my spirit. Yeah, I'm done too. To Taylor Swift. I'm... Okay, oh. so let's forecast a little bit. <laughs> Y'all think she'll be at another game? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. She'll be at damn like near all the games. Yes. Yeah. They're going to run this into the ground. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. They should. Poor Usher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't. Don't, Don't put that, that in the Don't air. put that in the air, Poor, poor Usher. That's hate. No, let, 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 let me. <laughs> we are not going to manifest it. All right. <laughs> I'm just, when, whenever they're so. What about, what about what Usher, what Usher says? <laughs> all right, y'all, that was great. Thank yeah. you. And then he exits. The Chiefs play the Dolphins in Germany. Mm-hmm. No, when? I'll in. No, November 5th. <laughs> <laughs> November 5th. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if they can. I don't know if they can afford to do that. Jeez. Well, they can't afford it, but I don't know if they're doing that. They international. Do they international, bro. <laughs> they do that. Let me tell y'all something. They she do looks that. German. <laughs> Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, he, can, he can get it off. Is that racist? He can do it. He can do it. He can do it. I don't think he's racist. He can do it. He can say it. I can say it. She can say it. We can't say that. But German engineering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. He can do it. Felt racist, but we gotta let it go. We'll let it go. She be at that game, bro. She will. Dolphins. Why we don't ever talk about white on white racism? Like all the whites don't get along either, though. They don't. They try to hide that it shit. Get, it gets real. Once what? they start saying pal. <laughs> buddy, 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 buddy. Oh, you really the one grind my fucking gears, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on your ass. Yeah, all, all whites don't be welcome, welcome in the pub. Oh, uh, no, that's true. Not the pub. Look, they want to suppress their shit <laughs> and expose us. Fuck that. Uh, what, else, what, else, what else was I just saying? I don't remember what I was just saying. We were you asked us would she be at more forecast? Oh, would she be at yeah, more games? Forecast. If that white lady show up in Germany at that <laughs> Dolphins game, I'm gonna come in here and really speculate <laughs> about how the rest of the season is gonna go. He think we nuts now for the script shit. <laughs> she I'm better not really, be at that I'm game. I'm really. I'm gonna come in here and predict the Super Bowl. <laughs> she better not be at that game. It'd be pretty easy. Chiefs. Yo, Chiefs win. She probably gonna be there. Cra- Yo, y'all niggas is just discounting. Which the is whole funny because I don't even have this. the Chiefs in the Super Bowl this year. Hard to, I, I, they're at that point where I don't bet against them. But they don't look as good as they have in past years, mm-hmm. to your point. You got, they got new people. I don't think they could beat uh, the Bills again. Neither could y'all. No. You Say can't something. talk to me about Say something. You can't talk to me about Say football. something. Say something. What did I just watch last night on TV? <laughs> Bullshit. That was PS High all over again. That was terrible. Yes. That was terrible. I agree. Y'all trash. Don't talk to me about football. I agree. Yo. Then someone else ask him. Y'all niggas high ask him. Someone else ask him. Yeah, don't look. Look, I can't ask him either. <laughs> what? Rookie quarterback kicked our ass. That is a trash cop out for how, he, it is, for it how is. he comes in here. Yo. I ain't said a word about the Giants. Oh, yeah. I don't give a fuck if they get the ass. He still got an answer want, for it, though. And, yeah, you got an answer. Because he came in here with the heat. On but, 70 and all that shit last yeah. week. You got an answer. <laughs> so what? We I lost. asked you. I, I didn't lose. Yeah. No, no y'all no, ain't no, lose. No. It wasn't a loss. <laughs> no, we lost. It was a thrashing. Yeah, we got our ass whooped. Yeah. Thrashing. There you go. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. You go. Yeah, there you go. go. There, there, you, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there, you got there, there we go, buddy. Bucko. <laughs> Bucko. <laughs> if that was a thrashing, then what the fuck was that last night? Keep doing I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. The Giants ain't doing nothing. Fuck them niggas. Fuck them. Back to y'all. You can't do that, though. <laughs> but why if I don't care about the Giants? You got to shut up. No, he right? he I have. 
Why you don't have to show? I that? have. I've never. I've not come in. What? Actually, I have commentary on this game because that was the funniest game I ever saw in my that life. Shit was hilarious. But now as a Giants fan, I hung my my rag up. Yeah. I don't bang. He walks in. I don't bang. You laid your flag down. I keep saying that. You laid your flag down. You just look like you're banging on somebody that don't don't bang. Did you drop your flag? When I talk to you, I'm talking about teams that look to contend. When I talk to you, I'm talking about teams that look to contend. So when y'all start talking about us, no, I want to hear from y'all. And from y'all, only y'all can speak to it. The fuck? Y'all talk football with Ish No, no problem <laughs> Y'all had a great win this weekend Y'all look great Thank you sir I appreciate yeah. it Salute Better enjoy it Why? Why? <laughs> you try to put this fucking spot why on niggas You know why I don't He don't yes, I do. asked you a question Yes you do Yes you do I asked you a question Don't make, don't make me saying. Don't make me say them letters What? What's the letters? You know the letters <laughs> You know the letters <laughs> You know the letters Come on stop it please I don't know You know who you got You know who's know. coming to town I don't know You Santa, know who's coming to town Santa Claus? Oh, say playing. less. All right. Say I less. I don't know who's Say playing? less. San Francisco, right? Well, he might not really know. You ain't set your lineup again this week. I beat you in fantasy. I had the highest score in fantasy, and I'm undefeated in fantasy. It's only me and Corey undefeated. Okay. But you ain't set your lineup again. I put like 160 on, on your head. Pause. That's all right. <laughs> I mean, I looked at your bench. There was nothing you could do. You were rendered helpless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but get better at that. All right, Christian McCaffrey. So. All right. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Wait, who? Christian McCaffrey. CMC? Yeah. Yeah, that's who we play next week. Yeah, I got money for any any takers. I'll take it. No, you got to give it to somebody. Bet. <laughs> bet. That line played out too. Bet. I, I'm bet serious. It. Just bet it. All right. Uh, whatever. Bet it. Duh, duh, duh. whatever. Yeah. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> okay. What we got? What we got? Jimmy Butler. Yes, the latest. Did you guys see it? The latest press conference. Thank yeah. You, His hair was Thank late. You, late. Media day. He was like this. <laughs> I liked it. Right. Silk Press? Yes. It, I had an emo era. You did. <laughs> Literally. I was the emo. I had the lip piercing. I had it all. So I'm for it. Discover yourself, my black king. I did like you discover it. yourself? I did. I'm a bad bitch now. That's who, that, that's who I want to talk about. Huh? No. <laughs> I want to talk about the discovery not, process. We already <laughs> talked about this. Holy shit. Yeah, Lex gave me a whole precursor on the phone like, Joe. Be nice. Be nice. We're not doing it. And I don't like when people do that because you've never had that experience with me. I'm just saying, last time we came on the show with us four, we already talked about my transformation. We don't got to talk no, about it again. Yeah, yeah. If they want to see it, they can go to Patreon. You, Get your, you, know. you kept transforming. Okay. They can go to YouTube. <laughs> Hello. What are they talk about? Look at Trey. Uh, anyway. Okay. Jimmy Butler, yes. I think it's okay. I want to let the niggas out there that's listening be- know that none of the men in here care about Cares. this. At all. At all. Not, a, not an ounce. This is, Mel texted me about this last night. I was like, damn, they, this really sent shockwaves through the community. <laughs> and then Lex and Drea came in here passionate about this. I love it. I really like his transformation. I think so let, let them oh, come on. All right. Just let them come on. Are you jealous, though? Like, get that nigga the like, fuck out of here with that hairstyle, well, man. Why? Well, I mean, I feel like get out of here. I feel like some type of way that he can go. No. You know, no, it's about like basketball. Nobody want to see that shit, man. We don't give a fuck about <laughs> it. You asked me if I was jealous. Yeah, I'm I mean, he can grow this long, yes. L- luscious, yes. L- yes. luxurious yes. mane. Now, now y'all taking it too far. Luscious, it's luscious. <laughs> I mean, okay, to some of y'all, <laughs> I mean, to some of y'all, it's illustrious. <laughs> oh shit, man! It did have movement. It <laughs> did have <laughs> movement. <laughs> Stiff way. I mean, she asking me if I'm mad. I mean, with some of you bitches out there, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I, I felt, they're trying to do the reverse yeah, psychology I, I, shit. I, I, oh, I felt, no oh, we, I I felt we're so no happy way. for you with your head. No, you know try to get that hair. Try to like, repeat it. When is it acceptable for women to let go of their baby hairs? Like, why Never. y'all? Forever, Never. forever, ever. Y'all need to know it's good over here, Buki. You can't get a reduction in baby hairs. <laughs> no. Okay, no, yo. Why would you say no, that? See, I'm not gonna lie. I told I'm my girl small. the same thing. These fucking baby hairs. Get out of here with a little like toothbrush small, in the mirror. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. When the girls do the big ones, now we can relax a little bit. But the small, cute. This is yeah. a little one too. A little one too. That is nice. Some of y'all, it's just there's just three strings right there. Y'all trying to make a little swirl out of it. It's <laughs> y'all, y'all, with y'all, the toothbrush, yeah, right? Yeah. The little mini, the little mini They trying to make a little cinnabon. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little swirl. Cinnabon right there. Nah, see, don't be a hater. Y'all not it cute. makes them feel good. I bet when you take off that hat, you got that Tommy Pickles. You know the Tommy Pickles with the three. The three. So you no, can't no, talk no, about no, people. Wait, wait, you don't know the, the three strings. You know you can't talk about people. <laughs> 
have no idea what that is. I don't know what that is. Rugrats. You know how he had the little three Rugrats strands? So you talking about the that's girls with the three strands? Yeah, that's not my era, Rugrats. Jacket coming back. Keep it's it up. Not. <laughs> oh, damn. He was watching, like, Speed Racer. <laughs> what? Speed Racer right? Fire. Speed and that's hate. Oh, Speed Racer Fire. We're not about to do this again. This is why I stop fucking young girls. We're not about to do it again. Right there is why I stop fucking young girls. Oh, Speed Racer. <laughs> yeah, baby. Come this way. Speed your little ass right on the head. Hey, hey. Speed <laughs> Racer, all right. Watch this. In and out. <laughs> speed no, Racer. Like, Y'all were saying. I think it's cute when guys do something different with their look. I feel like people always want to judge black men or even black people, period. Like, he did something different. He had a little lip piercing. It was giving panic at the disco. I'm with him. <laughs> what'd you think about him saying, Tonight yo, will be you and yo, I said I what, will fall for you. What'd you think about him saying that, yo, media day is my Halloween and I'm just in character? He has a lot of fun with it. Yes. Like that's it. Yeah, that's okay. obvious. That's all it is. I like it. Jimmy Butler's fun. He's fun and he's funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have fun. I no. feel like people take living in his truth. No, he's real fun until the Celtics or the Bucks show up. Oh, well, that's your cat. That's that. That's your lane. You guys can talk about yeah, that shit. Well, y'all just well, that, that's what it. matters. That's the shit that matters. Okay. We don't care this what women like. don't need sports. <laughs> I love sports. Let's talk about it, girl. We- Maybe we talk about football and we ain't add nothing. And won't. <laughs> and won't. We don't know shit about sports. I, well, let's keep it semi semi on hair. Okay. Ooh. Not really on hair, but okay. kind of on hair. Mm-hmm. Uh, last podcast, I was talking about Dame Lillard going to the Milwaukee Bucks. Mm-hmm. And I was talking about how Milwaukee is a slept on city because... There's some nightlife out there, there's some hookah, True. and there's some nice looking hoes out there. Mm. So some good looking, good looking women too. Uh, uh, well, not that it's both. a difference. It's both. They got both. It is a difference. <laughs> there's a difference. There's a major difference. Lex. Hey, oh, you I'm be not... on that podcast capping, huh? No. She do. I'm oh, she not... be on that podcast now. capping. Yo, Lex, stop that. I'm it's... for the women doing what wait, they wait, do. Wait, wait, wait. Lex, hoes and women are different. The hoes is out there too. Hoes and women are different. Is there a difference? Between a woman and, and a, a hoe? Home? Yes. Yeah. Um, but so how they live their lifestyles, yes. All right. So, so we there's, there's, there's a difference. Yeah, there is a difference. Okay. Oh, so why you were so taken aback? I was just saying, because I know, I think it's a difference between the way men treat them. And I think you should treat everybody with oh, respect. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to come back on men. I'm just saying. <laughs> if you acknowledge, <laughs> no. you slick. Stop. No, not, Holes no. and women is different. Holes and women is different. That's it. They are. Let's put them... Boom. They anyway. all women. But talk- I don't think it's a difference between the way. I'm not making it a man and woman thing because some women will treat them bad too because they feel like, talk oh, about I'm better it. than you. Talk they about always it. feel right. like, oh, you sell pussy. I don't. I just bust it open. Oh, so I'm shit. different on stage and you can't touch it. You know what I'm saying? They all, everybody does Semantics. it. Semantics. So I, I got it. making it like that. Mm-hmm. Got you, girl. But back to the topic at That's hand. a good topic too. The different levels of busting it. It is yeah. different yeah. levels of busting it though. It some is. charge, some don't. Some, mm. some just want to go to SPK. Yeah. I think you got hoes who bought their bread and you got freaky. Bitches. So, what do you what? like? Some bitches just okay, want to Now we're talking. Freaky. That's, that's a good that's topic. about their bread yeah. versus freaky bitches. Yeah. <laughs> do it make so the freaky bitches a hoe? What? Are the freaky bitches a hoe? Mm, yeah. Thing? No, because to me, hoeing is like you're doing it for money. Like hoeing is a job. Prostitution. Hold, that's hold not is a, so, you say a hoeing is a job. First of all, a hoe is a garden tool. But. Oh, so it's like hoeing is transactional. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hold on, transactional. I gotta go. I gotta Google that. Y'all niggas just be saying transactional. No. Oh, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. No, no. I'm just oh, making. Oh, no. no. You no. trying to come no. me for the company? No. 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 You know. You trying to? Wow. He just posted some shit like that. No. How you acting for the company? Oh, Mel. I no. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I know what transactional means. Looking for clarification on which one you're googling. Damn, Joe, you gonna do Which 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 group do you like better? Into the microphone, please. I like both. Groups. You're blocking the mic. In the mic, please. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. I, you know, I like both groups. I don't have a preference. You said all that and still miss the mic. Huh? You did all that and still miss the mic. One thing, of, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's, there I'm, we go. I'm fighting not saying it too. <laughs> there you go. Now, now it's right there in front of your face. I don't have a preference because I'm yeah, but a hoe, but wait, Real quick, a hoe is not a person that, that gets compensated for sex. A hoe is just a, is a promiscuous Gardendor? woman. Okay. Yeah, a prostitute is somebody to get paid for sex. Did you ask Webster? You went to Urban Dictionary. I did. I, did. I went to all that because I want to make y'all niggas just be freestyling and pandering. Oh. We not doing that up here. Okay. Hoes and freaky women are on the same boat. Okay. Mm-mm. A hoe is a woman that has numerous sexual partners. A hoe is not a a prostitute is different. 
Can I, can I ask a question? Hole on the stroll. Wait, wait, wait. Question. A a wait, wait, wait. Hole on the stroll is a prostitute. Pro- I know what it is, but I'm saying that we got to. Yeah, Flip, did you Google hoe or whore? Right. I Google hoe, a garden tool, and then the other dictionary. <laughs> the other definition. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we, have, we have enough experience in the room. We don't need to refer to Google for no, that's all hey. freaky women or not. He went to Urban Dictionary. I did. We're only talking about the difference between the transactional women and the, and the, women, the that women that just enjoy that shit and will do it for the free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. Here's what pisses me off about that definition: is it says a woman. Like a man can't be a man. I told you. I told you last part. I mean, I feel like they can be, but dick ain't good enough to sell like that. <laughs> like y'all, you come across that's hate niggas, legs. You know, I think niggas be hoeing more than ever these they days. Do, they but be that's trying to get taken care of for free. For free. <laughs> niggas be trying that's to get so, tricked we, on. Too we talked these about days. that. Can, niggas be fucking them good and then driving their car late. Yeah. You're not gonna put no battery <laughs> and they be, in my back. Exactly. And they be late to pick y'all up from work. I get it. <laughs> and the car ain't got no gas in it. When it comes, if you talk about money, like we all know, like vagina is more valuable. What? Oh, 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 no, 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 Hold up, my man got my man got a quick thirst. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get his started. <laughs> it's coming. Wait. Here we go, the muffin man, the muffin man, the muffin man. You know the muffin man, is stupid. You know? Oh Lord, mercy. Oh man, y'all in trouble she now? She came in. Oh. Yeah, don't oh, run. I'm trying to cop a plea. <laughs> Don't run now. <laughs> All right. He's coming. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was, it's funny, before you said wait. that, before you said that, I was tossing it to Mel because I really wanted to hear from her. But Antoine. Are you going to let her say these things? How do you, how do you feel about yeah, you, you raise your hand and your foot is shaking, so we just want to know what I'm you think. Weak. Nah, what? Uh, <laughs> which part? It was a lot being said. What? Come on. The value of uh, she said the uh, vagina is more valuable than than penis. That's what she said. When it comes to selling it, Reddit gender wars, baby. Cue <laughs> <laughs> it, cue it up. <laughs> Put this right here. Hey, oh we found another one. <laughs> Hey, this one wasn't even written down. No, boy. No. This one just fell away. It wasn't. I didn't think that there would be a woman today to boldly take that stance. Pussy has depreciated that's drastically. Cool. I ain't know that's cool. Sure. Slow it down, Miss Honey. <laughs> Tell me Yo, something. Yo, let me ask you a question. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 come on, come on, my nigga. We ain't doing okay, that. Okay, now. Yeah. You, you had really good dick before? Oh, uh, yeah. I've had some good sex in like my day. 20 minutes over, your, your leg's still shaking dick. All right, now. Right. Get to the question. Well, her leg used to be big. <laughs> <laughs> that, that used to be a big leg. Don't think, let this little workout style Colombian shit fool you. <laughs> that, that used to be a hefty leg that had to get shaken. Oh that was big God. legs at one point. But you know what he's saying, though. Answer him. Yes, Talk to my yes, man. Yes, yes. So, so you don't think it's levels to dick the same way as levels to box? I do, but I'm not talking on a level of like. I've never been, you know, a prostitute to sell. But what I'm saying is there is strip clubs everywhere with women. Those are the ones that make money. Male strip clubs are not popular for a reason. Sex sells more with women, and that's what that's I'm true. saying. Mm-hmm. I agree. When it comes to a business point of view. Now, if we're talking on relationship levels, yeah, it's going to be women do things for men. They do things for us. I'm not talking about that. We're talking about prostitution, hoeing, as far as selling. Like, hey, this is a price for my pussy. This is a price for my dick. Mm-hmm. Women don't is ag- more valuable. Don't, but don't agree with that because even that is from starts from a narrow-minded place. No, but I know it starts from a pl- traditional place. There are plenty of you never saw the Chippendales doc, right? Mm-mm, no, no they got Club Cayenne. There, there are pl- there are 
there's hundreds of offsprings to the Chippendale sure. doc because they're not uh, commercialized but that's right. like a Starlets and no, but they exist and but, they're, but and it's they're not profitable. As, but it's not as widespread yeah, as not. female but shit. But that don't speak to the income that's true. That's is all true. I'm saying. That's true. It don't no, speak to which you. one is more valuable. A lot of these niggas get, used to get money. Um, them dancers. Do you guys know any, any male um, exotic dancers? I don't know any I know personally, some. but I, you know some. I know guys who do like only the OnlyFans stuff and yeah. things like that. Okay, so, yeah. And them I mean, they, they, hell they get money. They yeah, they, they, hell they, money. I'm not they saying money. that they don't get money, but, but, but it's nowhere near the woman. Money. It's, 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 right. it's nowhere near it. But escorting from a male perspective and escorting from a female perspective, they both is profitable. But I'm agreeing right. with you that it's a thousand times more female escorts than men. <laughs> now, yeah, but who makes more money though? Let me ask you this though: Do you know why that is? Traditionally, men got more money than women. Okay, I can agree with that. You know, yeah. no, I'm just saying, I'm not yeah, trying to be yeah, funny. Yeah. And then back in the day, when the whorehouse was where the... True. The women couldn't work. Mm -hmm. Women couldn't necessarily support themselves, own property, all other shit, so they had box to sell, and that's the oldest profession. That's the right. reason that they call it the oldest yeah. profession. Yeah, uh -huh. I agree. But that don't still devalue dick versus box. <sighs> it don't. It's, she a good, already, she it's a nigga with good dick yo. that you've done some dumb shit for. Yo, the same way we've done dumb shit. They both. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, what, this is one of the really the things that I want. Yo, most se most box is a seven. It might be a six and a half. How to the ready? niggas in here that have had a plethora of box, most vagina is just okay. It's a C. I love vagina and <laughs> all, like, of, all of the vagina like owners the out there. Even the if I thought that, I would say. how it is with dick. Like y'all got a rating system for dick. Y'all got a y'all got a, a girl chat where y'all be blasting niggas dick. But he just asked you. He just asked you, have you had some fire, fire, fire shit? And you was like, all right, like. It ain't been that. It's a nigga. You remember so the most nigga that gave you great dick from ten years but, but, but ago? You women, remember that? I feel name. like we write dick off of like the actual sex, like the sex. And, and what you I think? Feel we like think we I feel like y'all. I feel like y'all. I feel like y'all write pussy off of like how it feels, like the anatomy. Both. It's two. I don't think it's. It's the two. Sex. No, because you can have a girl that has amazing pussy, uh -huh. but her she sex is she trash. Can't fuck. She can't fuck. She can't but take no dick. Pillow hole princess. Yeah. And put I it think, on the shelf. I think y'all are getting far that away. Show. I think y'all are all getting far away from where to start. Trying to tell niggas that her box is Drea, trash. Drea, Drea, oh, no. Ish, Lex, that whole oh, couch that okay. don't. Y'all getting far away from where to start it. I don't even know what we're talking about no more. Right? I'm just saying. Devaluing dick. I was talking about the depreciation of vagina. Yeah, that's, that's where it, that's where it started. Yeah, and I don't really want to add this talk with people that don't either sell pussy or buy it. Facts, all over. True. Good we point. were talking about the get back to I'm, the Milwaukee I'm, hoes. I'm, cause, cause I, <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, I know the rates. I know True. who price went up. And who, who price, price them went fell down. down? Me too. I, I don't who, even buy I know it. Who I know. Went and, and, and rushed to the fucking uh, rush to get a boyfriend. I know who went and rushed to the Jets rookie. Oh, I know who went and rookies. did. Come on, stop. I know what y'all doing out there. Mm -mm. I know which nigga on the Falcons done paid the lease for the next two years so you could live stress free for a little bit. Niggas know. This, this, this we, 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 know. we know. Yeah. We, this nigga's a bad. Right? This nigga's a baddie. <laughs> <laughs> we know. I know once that coke boat got stopped and the money in them strip yeah. clubs slowed up. Yeah, yeah. Just ran and yeah. got a boyfriend real then, quick. Yeah. Then, then you started painting. Yeah. Mm. Oh, mm. You know what? This took a you little. Not gonna do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> bitches went. Right, bitches went right they to Michaels. Love, they love. They act like they. They only remember that. Like, oh, oh I don't do that. No, that's the sister school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That's Ain't nails. Wrong with that. I know. The growth. That's a lot of lashes being done around this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of facials. There's a few of y'all out there putting the scrubs on, taking an Instagram pic, but it's Petco. <laughs> oh, shit. Nah. Petco. You're right. Petco scrubs. I'm telling you something. Petco I'm is that's the Petco. <laughs> <laughs> Petco scrubs is crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, 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 br brush little Tommy's hair and send him back. <laughs> Tommy. Stop, stop, stop taking baddie pics. Naming your dog br Tommy. Brush, oh. brush my dog, bitch, oh, and send him man, back. this nigga is an idiot. Okay. <laughs> anyway, what I was trying to say was the Milwaukee Eights were upset with me mm -hmm. because I said they're a New York Six. Mm -hmm. A Milwaukee Eight being a New York Six, I thought that was fairly accurate. I agree. Generous, with even. <sighs> so, my question to the room this is crazy. <laughs> do y'all subscribe to region, regional grades and how they change depending on where the school is located? 
Um, <laughs> the SAT get it's on a scale. Wait, it's a curve. It's a curve scale. It's a curve scale, man. Great on the curve. I think that. The bell curve. <laughs> the only reason it changes, like, okay, she might be an eight in Milwaukee and a six in New York, is just because of um, the culture. So if she moves to New York, she starts getting a little swag. She knows how to do her makeup mm-hmm. better, her hair better. It's still the same girl. She's still beautiful. I was going to say, it depends on if your, your rating system includes, you know, swag, dress code, mm-hmm. how she does her hair and stuff. If that's part of the rating system, then... It is. You it know. is. I mean, it okay, is. Okay, so then you're, you probably, at, you're, yeah. you're probably going to see a lot of natural beauty that might need to be, you know, kind of yeah. you know, sophisticated a little, a little. A little polishing, exactly. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, mm-hmm. nah, it's beautiful women everywhere. You don't just all of a sudden, you're a bad bitch and you're beautiful just because you were born in this area. So, no, 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 so no, all like women that. pander to women. No, uh, <laughs> like, that's like across the board, it's right? Truth, I'm, I'm almost agreeing with them. It's the truth, though, because you know I'm how many times agreeing. we see a woman like when she first gets on the scene, and it's like you know you can tell they start making a little money. Know why you can't agree with Lex, and I don't want to blow it up. So chill. What me? No, but go ahead. Not on, just... But not only that, it's no, the but reason. Don't agree with her. I don't. I don't want to blow all, it up. But it's also. <laughs> I don't want to blow it up. Don't do that. And and we'll have a real good pod. But let's be honest. We are. In the conversation. You said me? Talking to you, Ish. I no, can't I'm not talking to Ish. Uh-oh. No. Uh. Lex and I have had many a conversation in the junior varsity days. <laughs> the junior varsity? Drea and I have had plenty of conversations about Lex in the junior varsity days. This is big major league now. NBA big ball of shit. European team, the Olympics now. But I remember those talks. And I remember what they consisted of. Yeah. The Milwaukee girl can't yeah. just pick up to the new poppin' city and get acclimated because Fifth Ave is there or nicer clothes, nicer hair people, nicer men. It's not as simple as y'all are painting it. She uh, meets people. It's not simple. It's she meets, not she no meets people. Way. She yeah. meets people. A new friend group, they upgrade her. Nor, do it, nor do it often go like that. I don't feel like I subscribe to it, but unfortunately, I mean, it's what happened. I disagree. Yeah. Like, I feel like... No, it's not easy. A, I disagree. A girl comes yeah, to New York, is. you might be able to get in the clubs, you know, all the promoters in your city, but then you come out here, niggas, it's not letting you in because you don't meet the criteria And you got your Milwaukee slides on. Yeah. yeah. But, 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 I mean, but Pumas. You got, you got you your, the Pumas on. You got, you got the Joan like Rivers collection <laughs> cardigan yeah. on. Yeah. I feel like some you got the little three-inch wedge. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch of baddies out there that still, that still ain't let go of the wedges. Yeah. Why do niggas oh hate? I don't wear wedges. They fucking hate uh, wedges. They hate them. I don't know. I do too. I like my feet. I love a wedge. I like The see-through shits? No, let me tell you something. Not everything that we do is for y'all. We do shit for ourselves we Thank dress for you. ourselves they so what's the point of the wedge man? we want to be comfortable it depends on the outfit you want to be comfortable and maybe you want to give yourself a little bit of height actually yeah. that's not yeah. the point of the wedge the history on the wedge is oh, Ferragamo oh come on talk about it this nigga is a fashionista <laughs> yeah, my nigga told yeah, Ferragamo in right the 1898 when there name. was some laws that banned steel and iron uh, how they made the heels mm-hmm. he Found a to work around the cork, yeah. Okay, and that's how wedges. That's the history of wedges. Okay, okay. well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Mr. Lander. Thank you. Thank you. We just thank you. 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 Talk right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. oh shit! I'm joking. Excuse and me. Mm-hmm. That's, I, that's my face regularly here. Oh, yes. regularly. Man, mm-hmm. what? I, I think, I'm a rock with y'all. I think. I think. Um, in my opinion, wedges I think a lot, sexy. Of the, a lot. I like wedges. A lot of these chicks don't really be that pretty, but the accessories will make them pretty. They don't. That's matter. true. So yeah. when you get to New York, if you are seven and now you start getting the fly shit, it'll push push your number up. But that still don't negate the the, the ten that comes from Milwaukee. That's a physical ten. Mm-hmm. She could be as country as Ellie Mae Clampett, and she's a physical. There's tens ten. everywhere. Yes, Stop. there's Stop. tens. Whoa, whoa, but it's still hard. To, it's still hard to adjust to the New no, York shit. Up. He just came up with a whole new number. Yeah, he just changed everything. We didn't say nothing about a ten. 
but, 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 that but, changes but, things. I said rules said for the ten me. is I, are not the rules for the eight. I said, but it's still me. not easy to adjust if you are ten. If you are eight, my nigga, you are Milwaukee, and you are pretty eight in Milwaukee. That is going to translate to New York City. I agree. With some time, what as a as a time, y'all capping. With some time, I don't think that's translating right out the gate. You're not going to just walk to New York and be an eight. You're not an eight in New York just fresh off the plane. Just walk to New York and say, but it's like over time. No, you could be an eight when you step off the plane. Country. And anyway, I think it also depends okay. on who's who's judging the number, right? So if you're yeah. in Milwaukee, New York, an eight might be something that we wouldn't look at as an eight out here, right? Because we just see saying. more shit. It's yeah. always subjective. But if that's you're a, you're a yeah. New Yorker that goes to Milwaukee and you see an eight, that's probably still an eight. No, right. why you think why you think the new outfit for these girls is dr- uh, workout clothes? Because gym is life. Girls, that's just look. Because gym is like no. these is girls that ain't been in the gym in eight nine years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Workout clothes is easy. Yeah. You ain't got to have no style. You ain't got to have no swag. Right. You don't have to do nothing. Put some Air Max on with some Lululemon and hit your ass to Whole Foods. Mm. That's mm-hmm. across the board. And if you're an eight That's in fair. motherfucking yeah. Milwaukee, you're going to be an eight in D.C., you're going to be an eight in Miami, okay. and Lululemon shit. Well, I wholeheartedly disagree, but we, could, far? we could we could keep going. This is this is great. Yeah. Love that everyone is so passionate today. <laughs> about, about you disagree, the, you about, disagree with the workout gear? making just. I disagree with every single word that it's just said. Okay. Every yeah. single word. So you don't feel like it'll, it puts everybody on the same workout gear. Too. Workout gear is going to go up because surgery went up. Right. They hand in hand. Mm-hmm. It's it's eight to no surgery. It's it, a lot of them with it. I, see, that's what we differ. Yeah, we differ there. I I go in Lululemon every city I go to. It's not a whole bunch of natural why? women in Can there. Can I ask why? It's not a whole bunch of. I wear Lululemon. <laughs> I wear Lululemon too. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Oh yeah! Yeah, yeah you like? I didn't wow. know. Wow. I really didn't know men be wearing Lululemon. You know what's like crazy? You got you know of Effect Fitness in um in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. he's sponsored by Lululemon. Oh, I didn't. I really? Didn't yeah, knew Lululemon. That. They That's where we with, work out at too. Shout mm-hmm. out to Mr. Ridge. Mm-hmm. 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 I had no idea. Yeah, you be working out, Joe? I didn't Dog, know. Dog, you playing? Trying to play Lulu, you like you're a Nike Lulu. nigga, yo. <laughs> but even in that years ago, for the people that was early on Lululemon, mm-hmm. shout out to the uh, shorty that put me on a Lululemon. Thank you. But early in the game, if you was signed up to certain gyms mm-hmm. or down with certain trainers or programs, they would just discount shit at an alarming rate. Like early in the really? game before mm-hmm. Lululemon went crazy. Yeah, oh, it's true. Wow. It's true. Shout okay. out to them. So you don't be seeing the baddies in Lululemon is what you were saying? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. The natural. It, ain't a, it ain't a whole bunch of naturals. That's not true. I feel like that's not true at all. Yeah, true. I, I, I disagree with that. That's yeah. not true. The time I go in there, it's it, a lot. Of, it depends on where you're going. Yeah. Because I go to Lululemon and Short Hills Mall. Same. And it don't be no. It don't be what that. What if you go to Lululemon in Milwaukee? I don't know. You got to go. It could be some bucks. <laughs> well, the other trick is thinking that Lululemon. I think bucks are dudes, by the way. <laughs> Hawks. Looking at Bucks. <laughs> Tanner, we got him. <laughs> Live it up. Looking at Bucks. <laughs> They're going to see the title and think we talking about getting money, dropping gems. <laughs> Bucks. Oh, sure. oh, and the other trick is thinking that Lululemon is for workout people. Right. Yeah, it's athleisure wear. It's just, just a, a trick. It's just comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, it's a super trick. Comfortable. Yeah. Uh, come on, tell yeah. me about tell me about uh, Jay Z's uh, wealthy wealthy Atlantic City secret meeting. James Bond shit they did. <laughs> um, their reform group, uh, prison reform, all that meat. Mad over. gang members there. <laughs> Yo, it, was a, it, was a lot, it was a lot of niggas. Re- reform. <laughs> they they threw an event. A few of them um, niggas active. Down, down there. <laughs> <laughs> they reformed. Those are the Rat and Ronnie <laughs> right here. Snitches. That snitches. Word, nigga. No, my bad. But they threw, they threw a fundraiser um, down in Atlantic City at, at Ocean uh, was Casino. Mm-hmm. And all of the, you know, the Michael Rubens, the Tom Brady. That click. That we whole say crew. It. It's the same yeah. crew. It's, it's the same, same click, crew. same crew. From that, yeah. They all were there, and they, they came up with a bunch of money. I think it was like $24 million. $24 million. million. 24, million. 24 million dollars they raised. This is the shit that Travis was walking across the yes, table? Yes, okay. yes. Yeah, Travis Scott went to talk to Hove, so he took the table route. Walked on the tables to get there. It's rude. Um, <laughs> people who just fly. No, 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 that's, no, no, that's no rude. Not, not, not in that building, not in that room. That's, that was, that's fucking crazy. class. I'm gonna go walk around. But um, I saw a lot of people upset, and it just I wrote on there that people don't understand what money really is. People were upset because they 
only raised $24 million. Oh, right. the expectation was with a bunch of people in that yes, room, high net worth, that it would have been a whole lot more. It should have been, should have been, should have been more. They said it was $45 billion in the room, mm. but they only raised $24 million. And That's I, a lot of money. That's a lot of <laughs> money. Nigga, you raised $24 million in one day. That couple is a lot of money. And reform for that a is a lot hours. of money. Mm-hmm. It's some stupid ass shit that niggas be talking about. Yeah. But, oh, y'all worth billions. Y'all couldn't raise more than that. I think that's because a lot of people don't know the difference between like net worth and like what you yes. have in liquid. They don't exactly. know money. And know a lot of people don't understand how money works because they yes. never had none. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's really yeah. what it is. You are correct. Like they, it's the same shit that they said with Oprah and The Rock. Right. When they was raising money in Hawaii. Like, oh, y'all, y'all, Just y'all billionaires, it, y'all. Yeah. Nigga, we gave ten million dollars. Yeah, so how not, much you to get, get it started? It's not the only thing they were mad at. They, gonna, that's not. A, but I'm, when I'm they started talking them. about the money part, that's what they were talking mm-hmm. about with, with Oprah and the Rock. No, no. Oh, I'm gonna play this the resurfaced clip that uh, has Jay-Z the internet talking. going crazy, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then quickly ask what y'all think. Back it funny because blah blah blah. You have to navigate that. Mm-hmm. You have cousins. You got to go home for Thanksgiving, and people are talking to you like Kevin Hart. And you going home for solace. You want family. You're going home for peace of mind. You're going home for peace of mind. And they don't give you that. Your cousin you're not, is, you're not your cousins that. in your grandma's living room saying, yo, man, I got this, uh, I got this play. I want to, if you just give me, you know what I mean? <laughs> 4,800, I could make you 2 million. You're yeah. like, it don't work like yeah. that, man. You got to explain to him, like, life isn't like that. And money isn't free and it, no one's given our opportunities. If it sounds too good to be true, it's really, and then he like, oh, you don't believe in my dreams. Kept acting funny because blah blah blah. You have to navigate that. Mm-hmm. You have cousins. You got to go home for Thanksgiving. So, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. So they're saying Jay Z <sighs> is worth however much he's worth, yet mm-hmm. he can't loan his cousin forty five hundred dollars, who's in grandma's living room or Nana's living that room. That was just. Mm. I I think that these blogs once they start posting. Twitter accounts. I think that the blogs run a streaming farm, and these are their Twitter accounts mm-hmm. that they mm. take pictures of mm-hmm. and post when they're bored and lonely to get engagement right. and reaction. That's what I think. Mm. I'm still mm-hmm. going to ask. Yeah, that's what they do. But they but still can't still. make the general public start. Commenting. You can have an account. And you can write something. And, I if, mean, and if you write it, that's all it takes. It takes right. two things mm-hmm. to, to make it fly. Mm-hmm. But does this Do y'all to- think there's uh, Wait, so what was the what was the point of the caption? The point is Jay Z has two point five billion dollars. He can't his, loan his his cousin asked for forty eight hundred. He said no. To put that into perspective, that'd be the equivalent of someone who made fifty thousand a year being asked to give a dime. Okay. So they're killing him uh, for what he makes versus what he will do for his family. But I feel like they they missed the point because that wasn't the totally initial exactly. point of what he was saying. On he was purpose. just saying Purposely. when he go home to visit his family, he don't always want to talk about business just because he the wealthy one in the family, the successful one. That's not what I want to talk about if I'm coming to kick it, if I'm mm-hmm. coming to watch right. a football game yeah. with y'all and chill and, with y'all. But I, want, I don't want to talk about And the secondary thing. point was whatever that deal is sounds fugazi. No, right. Right. Yeah. I'm not even going to put 40, you Give me I can make two million. That's the point he was making. Right. Yeah. He, and he was that like, was one point. Because right. that is one thing that people understand how money work if you thinking oh I'm gonna give you $4,500 and you gonna flip it to 2 million like that but they just yeah. think you got it I don't we're family right. it's, it's, yeah. it's false entitlement but, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't so. believe in your little lollipop business my G right. <laughs> and I don't, I don't, I don't really think you're gonna get that off the ground yeah. <laughs> but I also think too it's like if you ask him like if Jay Z was my cousin, there would be two ways I'm coming at it. Either I'm just about to be like, "Hey, can I have some money?" Like I'm just going through a hard time, and I would think he would probably be say yeah to that before you being like, "Oh, I'm gonna do this and X, Y, Z." Or Depends. if you really yeah. have a legit yeah. business, be like, "Hey, it's tricky. whenever I have you a plan. have some time, can we set up a meeting? Because I want to run some ideas by you and really come at him like a business person." Hey, let me let me add, uh, also him. now to your hard times point. What if this is your sixth hard time? Yeah, every exactly. time I see you, it's a hard time. But that's well, and that's, one. Hard and then two, times. with your business, you with the business dude, same thing. Yeah. You've been Bro. a hard time your whole life. I yeah. spoke to your aunt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I yeah. lent you money before. At what point are you going to... Your aunt told me you're back in the streets. I mean, I get it. Yeah. I get and you've been doing whatever. It's not really hard times. It's like a hard time. You're just like money bad, management. Right? It's not great. Right. You, right. you stay I, hard. I think he was also alluding to the fact hey, that... Yo. What's going on with this? You can't say that. You can't say that. 
Nah. You freaky today. <laughs> you freaky today. <laughs> freaky frog. Right you feel a little freaky. Freaky. Uh, freaky. I'm watching you, nigga. Freak poppy right there. This is a freaky couch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me with this shit. <laughs> freaky couch. Yo, you stupid, He's alluding dog. to the fact that dynamics just completely switch the minute you get money. Yep. Everybody, your family stops mm-hmm. looking at you like your family. You yep. are a bank. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a fact. You know? And you yeah. looking at your family like this is my safe haven. This is my solace. Yep. Where it no longer becomes that anymore. TT. I'm Sean here. I was reading Jay Z here. I'm Sean here. Mm. But when you get there now, niggas looking at you with, with their fucking fangs out, and you yeah. coming back home for. That's some why you gotta let your pop. family know right. that you got a demotion when you really didn't. What? No, or see. you do like like you do Cedric, gotta tell him you fell on some hard times. <laughs> like Cedric, so that, Cedric the Entertainer said, he had a fund, an annual fund, for his family. Mm. And he had like a cousin running that's crazy. it. Crazy. Basically, like however much money y'all he need, designates to you and you and you. That's on yo, him. Oh mm. boy, do not come it. to me. Don't talk to me about no money. Talk to him. If the fun gets depleted, if it gets depleted, oh fucking that's what well, it is. that's smart. And that even is that smart. didn't work. He ended up shutting it down because greed. Mm-hmm. People ain't never happy. They never gonna be happy. That's really what it boils yeah. down to. So once you learn that, it's like. I'm just gonna start saying no. Yeah, and nigga, for whatever y'all reason, ain't gonna be happy anyway. I and they make it hard for you to say no. But nigga, no month, no. ten thousand a month salary to one of your aunts. The ten thousand not gonna be enough. Eventually, eventually. Gonna yeah. she's gonna live up she to gonna start living twelve thousand a month. Yeah. She's gonna be spending the same shit. Yeah, it's the same that's shit. True. If yeah, you don't have any true. any any knowledge of money, it don't matter how much money you get. Mm-hmm. You're gonna you're gonna Burn you're, gonna, you're gonna outlive it, mm-hmm. and especially if somebody is giving it to you, you definitely you not gonna learn. You're not it. working you for that. Okay, if I'm just giving it. you ten thousand dollars a month, then you just living your life. You're not gonna ever learn how to properly manage it. Correct, because mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. That's why the, the financial education is the important part. No matter right. how much money you get, and if you don't know what to do with it, you're gonna go broke and need more. So but, that's that's why I agree with you. Like, yo, put a business plan together. Yeah. If I'm rich, rich. Like, if I hit the lottery, mm. matter by the way, that shit 1.2 billion. I saw mm. it. I'm playing. I done spent money. about 400 in the last couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, um, dog, I'm not giving nobody. I would give my immediate fit, my niggas. I'll give them a couple dollars, but yo, you got to put a business plan together mm-hmm. if you want me to invest in your shit and mm. show me where it makes sense. Right. I'm not funding, they don't even your, know what I'm not biz- funding your pipe dream. Bro, yeah. they don't I'll even have know. some cool parties. They yeah. don't even know That's what a business party. plan is. It but, really just be... That means you're not... The, you're the, not the you're business not plan is my idea. Niggas just come up with stories just to get more but money. But you're not yeah. enough to even make exactly. the money work. That's I bought, you, I bought. If you really want the money, sit your ass in the library... And put Figure the, it out. Put it like, nigga, this, together. The I bought five thousand from you two years ago or last month, and now nigga, I got a business idea. It's just another way to get money. That's mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. And, and and niggas say no because you're not getting up. You still in the same position that I left you in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we come up with these ideas to try or these pitches to try to get more money. Mm-hmm. A lot of it be bullshit. Yeah. Mm. But going back to what you said about financial education, though, I think that's important, too, because I think it's so strange how black people are so scared to talk about money, though, when it comes to us. Mm -hmm. We've been told that it's time. Yeah, like, um, when I used to have a job, I told this story all the time, but when I started working there, it was a nine to five, and she was like, oh, how much they paying you? And I was like, kind of like, damn, girl, you all up in my business. She was like, no. I know you have your degree. I'm trying to make sure they're paying you yes. properly. Mm-hmm. Like, so we started talking and I realized, oh, damn, you getting paid way more. She's like, yeah, girl, you need to try to renegotiate and things like that. So mm-hmm. I think when it comes to money, we definitely need to have a girl. More well, we're getting, things are, get, uh, things are definitely getting what, better. Somebody will tell you what they do in the bedroom. Before Faster they tell than they you talk about the yeah. they, how much money they make. Yeah, mm-hmm. Like, absolutely. oh yeah, girl, I swallow, I take it in the ass. You be like, what? Yeah. Right. Nigga how like, much Yo. you make a year? Oh, I can't talk about Bro, that. Bro, that's my business. You being <laughs> personal, <laughs> like damn. Right. My nigga. But that, I know even with us, like that. in this space, like uh, we have friends that do podcasting and stuff. So a lot of times when like when we get put on deals and stuff or this, we're like, oh, they paid us this much, mm-hmm. how much they paying y'all and this. Cause they'll definitely people try to lowball you in any space. Absolutely. In any space, so I was like, I'm always, I'll be open about everything because it's like it's a mo- enough money for everybody. But that's I we taught to not think that. Yeah, no, yeah. I think what, you could hear. You gotta get all the money yourself. Scarcity mentality. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. not even a white people person. That, I mean thing, but you be on a train. Mm-hmm. Hey, Barb, we sold the house for 1.7. I was so mad because the the <laughs> Jenners got yeah. 2.3, and, and their shit is smaller than that. Like, they talk money when yep. you're not embarrassed about yeah. how much you got. Mm-hmm. So y'all up, 
I heard about y'all. You know what I mean? Getting out. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm y'all up. So now, once you up, you don't mind talking about yeah, money. About you don't it, mind. Yeah. Yo, they only gave us thirty thousand, and we did. They gave y'all what? Mm. So you don't mind. I think because you realize when you get to a place where you feel comfortable with your finances mm-hmm. and you're not embarrassed no more, then I think it becomes normal. I think it's a combination of that think- and knowing that. The information spread amongst all of us can make us all make more. That's so, what I was about to say. You true. realize common, that talking yeah. about it, that's how we're going to get some more money. Right. Yes. We exactly. all discuss this shit. That's okay, we're going to put a plan together and mm-hmm. we're going to figure out a way to make some more money. I don't know why people are so afraid to have those But going back to what you said, it wasn't even that because when, when we first started our pod and I didn't have no money, we had a long running joke on the show because people be like, I'll be like, I got $3. Because I was literally like, I moved to Atlanta. By the time I finished getting to Atlanta, put enough gas in my car, I literally had $3 in my bank account. Yeah. And I was sleeping on her couch. So I never tried to portray like, oh, I'm out here doing it big and I'm getting this and X, Y, Z. Because I let people know like, this is my journey. This is my story. It's not embarrassing. I hate the fact that we argue about money on social media all day because none of us are rolling around in tens and hundreds of millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody want to say that they got it, they got it, but it's like, the money that we have is really a drop in the bucket to the people that's really getting money. Who are those people? Who are the people that's really getting money? Oh, um, I'm just mean like, when we have conversations, like when we get active. I think y'all are in that bucket. I think y'all are in that bucket. Well, yeah. (laughs) That's I don't think so. I I don't think so. When I come... There's nothing you can say. I put you there. <laughs> well, I mean, like, when I mean, like, these CEOs skin, of these, skin, like, skin. Fortune 500 companies and things like that, like, what we have is a drop in the bucket. Oh, no, 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 no. We and need, then, no, but I mean, even compared to, it. okay, compared to, yeah, like, a, a, back, a Call babe. Her Daddy podcast. Like, what Stop she, it. No. But it's the truth. It's the truth. I don't want, I don't, here, I try to practice black people not comparing themselves to white people. Well, mm-hmm. I don't mean I don't mean like in a comparison. I'm just saying talking about money and what we get paid, period. It's a drop in the bucket compared to what a lot of All other right. people make. Let's keep Even it on your bucket, pod. though. I like that bucket. Let's stay right there. Don't okay. try to use your pod tricks to detract. It's not. It's not. Y'all, big no. ass bucket. That's a tub. That's one of them plastic Word. tubs. That ain't no bucket. It's, 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 a, it's a big. It is, though. It's the truth. That's that shit Drake had at the club. Not quite. Not quite. I got a real savvy eye. I could tell just by looking at the Skin, y'all skin looking good. Y'all getting glowing. Y'all getting, y'all getting, like y'all, y'all, y'all getting the massages with the with the wood head. sticks. <laughs> <laughs> with the drummer, y'all, with, y'all, with the congos in yeah, the back. Y'all getting <laughs> the massages with the little sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Roller. The roller. Oh, roller. With the, the shit playing in the back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, y'all getting that good shit. <laughs> how are y'all dealing with how are y'all dealing with podcast groupies? Being two very attractive women, successful in the podcast space, getting money in Atlanta, hot town. Y'all got video, y'all videos going up. The guests, mm-hmm. guests, guests keep increasing too. Guests keep going up in stature, boy. Yeah. I know this. Thank you. We need that. to have you on the show. Still waiting. I'm ready. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, y'all don't invite me or call me or text Well, me. you never come to Atlanta. That's where our set That's is. That's very true. So I'll come to Atlanta mean. for y'all. Y'all have done my show multiple times. I yeah. show up for the people mm-hmm. that show up we for gonna, me. Yeah, okay. for sure. We're going to set up. it up. But the people I show up for, I show up for in 100% capacity. Mm. That's why that's why I'm real free with my nose. Right. Ah. I'm real free with my nose because I'm not committing myself to something right. if I'm not showing up for you. And you're not right. like that. Um, Y'all don't. I'm in there. Okay, we gonna we gonna do it. I gotta I'm hold you to it. I gotta tell my girl though. Okay. <laughs> She'll tell her to come. I respect that. Remember we met her last time we recorded? She was nice. No, I know. I know. I'm yeah. just talking about Atlanta. It's not really Oh, in y'all. Atlanta, yeah. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. yeah. But she'll um, be there with you. Dealing with I don't think necessarily I don't think we have like groupies. No. Yeah, right. Oh, that's yeah. true. Right. <laughs> I don't, but maybe I don't see it, but it's like it's weird right, because right. our listeners, like they're different. Like, they support everything we do. Like, we're able to go on tour, sell out. This is our second tour that we're on. Come and on. I think it's really Shameless because... Plug. I mean, right. yeah, go... Uh, get we're on on tour. Yeah. Yeah. Right let's go. Let's go. But get some tickets. I think the difference and, I, and, and the reason I don't think it's like a groupie thing is because we're really the same. Like, we don't get on that podcast and try to act different and then in person we're like, oh, I think I'm the shit and I'm... We treat everybody the same. Like, how me and Drea had this homegirl relationship on camera, it's like that off camera yeah. and we treat our listeners like that. It's like a fucking party. So, I don't... That's why I don't feel like it's like groupies or fans. It's like... People just, like just fuck with us. Just supporters. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, really just fuck with us. Ain't nobody trying to really like, fuck with true, y'all like true. that. Like that. They just... Yeah. You know, they just yeah, there for the show like, or something. 
up. That's right? it. And Everybody, I ain't no yeah, celebrity. I'm ain't just... nobody seeing no beautiful ass girl on no podcast yeah. and wanting to do something with them. No, right? no, no. <laughs> no, no. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Uh, they're just here for the takes. That's uh, goofy uh, as hell, uh, baby. Uh, uh, right? But no. They're just here for the takes. What's that? No. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's We got jokes too. Don't be like, they're here for the jokes. Nah, this is how you. They're here for a little joke or two, nigga. What's that message request tab look like? Nuts. You and my baby? Well, literally. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> though, I feel like it looks the same. It, it, it always looks. I mean, mm. well, that's because Big Dre. Uh, hold up, man. Not the little one. Don't hold forget up. the big We gonna put some respect Dre, on who, yeah. the fuck, who the fuck you be. You know, now. I feel uh, like nigg- I feel like niggas is niggas. Like it's the same. I mean, it, it looks the same. Right. Nothing has changed. But I think the, that is the with the women. Hey, Nothing's hey, changed hey, at all. The Rockets wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't. <laughs> And they was there a few years ago. Now, too. Talk to him about it, Graham. Talk to him about it. Let your shit, shit hang, Graham. I don't let him play with you. I'm just saying. I wish y'all like, tell her. Tell her. Oh. Tell her what? Wait. <laughs> Yo. Fuck. <laughs> no, I know. She knows. She already knows. She been past that, nigga. She on some different shit. Yeah. She, she on some NASA shit now, nigga. She, <laughs> she, <laughs> she on NASA. Some NASA. 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 NASA like, like I know. astronauts. Not the blinker. I heard the blinker. <laughs> she on the blinker. She on some other shit. She on some other shit. She on some other shit. But yeah. I don't know, Dre. Nigga, they been, you know. Yeah. But niggas is not coming to the podcast just to, no disrespect. I, I well, it. I mean, good. even with the women, I feel like women have always wanted to be cool with us because we eat fun. We go out, mm-hmm. we have a I'm good time, yeah. we joke around. So it's like, even before Poor but Minds the, was a the, thing, we always had girls being like, oh my God, I want to hang out with y'all. Y'all so cool, y'all so fine. dope. Yeah. So yeah. even from a woman's mm-hmm. point of view, mm-hmm. people just always just have enjoyed right. it. No, that's super mm-hmm. fly. How do y'all you manage your rosters? No Say what? No, 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 no. Niggas be laughing. You I seen you giggle a few times. You laugh a few times. How, how, uh, ladies, hey, coming to show to hear no hey, big dog, you jokes. done? Hey, big dog. <laughs> they show, they show fire. Okay. He coming for the twerk uh, how, how, how do y'all man? How you, how do you manage your rosters, being? Oh, I don't have a roster. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a roster. Y'all don't have rosters? No. no. Just what, like two players at a time. You know, I had a nigga. Had, oh, had, had, yeah. had, had. Past tense. Had. I mean, we like who left know, who? working it out. Who, Oh, oh you still That's right That's right, right. So he went, he went. Love, love wins <laughs> Love wins <laughs> Love wins again <laughs> They working Everything it out Everything reminds oh, me shit. of him Oh he, oh, he, oh, he <laughs> one of them niggas oh, He one of them niggas <laughs> Louis Armstrong niggas Hey Okay. Look how she held the mic. Look, okay. she holding her hand. Nigga. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he got now, in the train. Order, order, order in the court. Pocket for a thousand pocket. Order in the court. Flashback. Order oh. in the court. Everything reminds you of him. Okay. Yes. We got it. I love that. Love wins again. Um, moving on. <laughs> I don't remember what else. Flip just on. called him Armstrong. Word. Right. Right. No, no, I'm yeah. done with that. I'm done with shit. that. Flip. I'm Boy. done with that. You got to respect it. <laughs> Before we move on, I. I <laughs> I talk to you? Sure, go ahead. It's two minutes. Only going to take two minutes, I promise you. I ain't going to take up too much of the listeners' time. We have, we have a good time here today. It's good vibes. Yeah. Am I going to respond to you in a negative fashion? Positive yes. affirmations. Uh, out there. I don't believe in affirmations. <laughs> but I do. I don't. I get it. Oh, boy. What? So Sundays, sometimes Sundays before the games come on, I like to just do shit, like just to check on all corners, just business and the people I love and care about. I do shit like check my email on Sundays, like mm-hmm. goofy shit. Mm-hmm. Don't rush me. I'm slow walking the dog. Don't rush me. <laughs> this ain't your show, buddy. I'm slow walking this one. <laughs> so Sunday, I'm just going over some the nooks and crannies of everything, and I end up talking about you to Ian. And we start talking just about how you've been killing shit, man. You're going crazy out there. You're awesome. And in that, Ian divulged something to me that I didn't know, that I feel like he thought I knew, but I feel like it was one of the, mo- the funniest things I've heard all year, but I don't believe it until I hear it from you. Cause I don't believe what people say about my niggas. For the WWE stuff that mm-hmm. you did, I was always under the impression that y'all went up there so you could do like additive com- uh, content, like skits, just like funny shit up there. True. Ian said that he pitched you as a wrestler. Huh? Are you fucking crazy? No, he did it. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> you told us that. No, yeah, I ain't never, never heard that before, before yo. No, he did. I never. No, no, you hold up. Don't step on our joke. Okay. He said he had to lose weight. To I ain't gonna exactly, lie. you dumb nigga. I, I never heard I that lie, Ian Flip. and Flip pitched him to be a fucking wrestler, to be Papa Shango's son at WWE, some wild shit. No, they said, they said, Kamala? I never heard that. They had you, Kamala? Who they had you? Are no, you no, shitting no. me? No, they said that if I wanted to do it, I would have to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Ian told me that. I had a conversation. We had a whole meeting about it. Like, yo, Flip, you have to lose weight in order for us to work you into, into, all of that stuff. into a TV program. I didn't hear all of that. I only heard, yeah, we pitched as a wrestler. Of course. But that's him I doing... I feel like I should have known him, that. That's him doing... <laughs> No, Flip no, is a wrestler no. who'll be great. You know? now, you no, got, now you have to be a wrestler. Yeah, you got to do it, yo. No, I'm, I'm not. You got to do it, You got to be a wrestler. I'm figuring some things out, but uh, you know. Stop, stay at my business, too. Table ladders like and that. chairs match, Flip. I don't Come on, like man. that. That's you right there. Stop pocket watching know. niggas. Ooh. Stay at my business. I didn't know that's how you was being pitched. That's, yo, yeah. No, the skit, the, the skit did so well, and we did more and more. That, that's all. Yeah. I did a bunch. We did... Somebody That's why I smack you. You was gonna invite them to a fight. Exactly. And the, the skit, blah, 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 the skit blah, did, match. The skit did extremely well. But the problem is, it was like, let me watch how he fell. Like, he out of he out of shape a little bit. We got to fix that up. <laughs> so they was trying to get me in the gym and do the wrestling classes. But I got so much shit going on. But I'm gonna do something. I'm working on it. If you have a chance to. Do so, that. Look, so you should look. probably do that. Look. No, see, there you go. That's, oh. that's white people shit. That's telling me you can't tell me that. I don't. I may not be interested in doing that. I may be interested in doing something else. You know me. I, I'm, I'm ignorant. I don't want to do anything that people think I should do. When I come back to it, I may do it. They gave me a talk. Yo, you should lose weight and shit like that. And it's dedication. I have to dedicate my time to that. Going into a gym and practicing wrestling with wrestlers. Going to Orlando. And I'm, I'm on a fucking contract. Oh, yeah, because I saw a wrestler. If you ain't see wrestler at home, go watch it. Have you got, I, I got niggas they want, to be want, a wrestler. They want to be, and I was even invited to, you know, they try to find one out here, a school out here for me to go to. I was invited to Orlando. Yo, you can work out in here and we'll train you. But it takes a lot of time. Wrestler school? Come on, Flip. A lot of shit. That's and I'm, and I'm on the contract. So if, if the guy that's signing my check be lenient, then of course. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga be lenient, of course. Down sea world. No, I was trying, I was you trying to be funny? What you mean, Sea World, nigga? You talking about <laughs> where? No, we know your joke. She, she looked I at you, Lex. Uh, yo, Lex. Yo, Lex. What he did, Lex? I say, the, I say nothing. You, you on the side? You my man. I went to. <laughs> Why y'all said Sea World? Like you, you Orlando, yo. I was saying I'm Orlando. Sorry. Okay. Sea World is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why would you say that? Free, free Willie going stupid. Oh, I'll fry you ass. Yo, tell her stop. I'll fry up. I like her. Tell Tina stop. I quit. I quit. Tell, tell Tina stop. I'll, I like her a lot. Tell I'll, oh, everybody, sorry, everybody, I'm sorry, relax. I'm Order in the court. Order in the court. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Order in the court. Order in the court. I'm sorry it's okay. For you. It's okay. It's okay. She said, "Free me, okay. free Willie." Tell her stop. I'm gonna fry her. She just called you free. You crying? You crying? Yo, Kanye West. Kanye West, Kanye West, where's the clip? Where is the clip of Kanye? Who got Kanye's hard drive, man? All right. Yeah. Oh, like, all shit out. <laughs> I don't think you're plugged in all the way. Pause. What? Oh, that nigga different. <laughs> different, yeah. And they talk about they want Kanye in a Super Bowl with a live mic <laughs> in front of the yeah, world. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I need to get rid of good music because I'm great. And guess what? Good is the enemy of great. The fuck I'm doing giving Wanna Love You to fucking Tiana? What the fuck I'm doing giving that Daytona album to Pusha? What the fuck I'm doing, bro? That shit like, I, that shit was three dark fantasies that I gave away. Cop shot the kid, Nas rapping all goddamn offbeat on it. Don't even want to shoot the video. They shoot the video, don't even tell me. These motherfuckers don't appreciate me. All these motherfuckers are trying to use me. I'm the greatest motherfucking artist living and I can do everything. And I'm not being expanded and my vision is not being expanded to what it is. I'm performing at other people's festivals and shit. I've been wanting a fucking festival. People not touring my shit. People saying I'm locked in a pub shit. I've been recouped. These niggas man, ain't gonna be no arms. Um, Y'all boys better not fuck with me, bro. These boys better not about to play that black, black, black skinhead on Twitter live quick. And I know my life is on the line when I'm talking. Okay. But I know ain't nobody gonna touch me because I'm too high profile. I'm not triple X. So y'all can't take me out. Yo. But I what? bet you I get off my motherfucking publishing. I bet you I get my motherfucking festival. And I bet you I get off a of universal. And I bet you y'all don't talk to Adidas again. Yes. 
Corey CIA. Like, he didn't even have to say it. I know it. You fucking CIA. What are you talking about? Like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is my, this is my job, brother. This is my, this is my job. New job button. That's why, that's why, that's why fucking Cardi B was over there. Cardi B is a plant by the Illuminati. She don't write her raps. She just did it like sound as ignorant as possible. And just, and then make songs like fuck them and they get some money. Yeah. You know, she was literally replaced, you know, Nicki Minaj purposely. No, 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 And she's just a fucking, she has no idea what the fuck is going on. She thinks it's just a blessing from the universe. There ain't no blessing from the fucking universe. That's not she. What he's talking about is the script, by the way. The script. Yeah. Also, also, <laughs> not to diminish his point, because it has nothing to do with it, but that that was G Easy song. That it wasn't was. that wasn't Cardi's song. Fuck yeah. me, get some money. I don't take away from his point, but I just want to have to say that's not her song. Uh this is a, all of this is old. There's a two hour and twenty minute Kanye doc that mm. has just hit the internet. Mm -hmm. And the album. Bruh, it was what? in all kind of shit that hit. The alternate version of Jesus is King, the Dr. Dre produced version hit. Mm -hmm. um, early other versions of Yeezus. Like somebody got the master hard drive and just flooded the streets mm -hmm. with everything that was on there. Or, or the master has his hard drive and he's doing something. You that think, could be mm -hmm. things too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's possible. I won't, I won't dismiss it. Mm -mm. It's okay. possible. Yeah. All of this is old. Cardi replied with something that spoke to them having worked together since he said all they of this. They did. They just did the record, her, I know. her, him, and Dirk. You know, I know. Oh, yeah, they did. I'm just saying, she nowhere. responded, it's not a thing, but then she went on to say, hey, y'all keep playing with me out there. I have receipts. I'm firing at somebody. So she's it's talking to team. somebody. I don't know who Kanye is talking to. Interesting to hear that he feels like this about Daytona and that Tiana yeah. project that I thought and a could have been a classic. Here. The mm -hmm. shit we all, by then we knew that something was going funny. Yeah. Something was wrong. Mm -hmm. By then we knew something was wrong between good music Kanye and Def Jam and Universal. Yeah. The Nas Project said that. The Daytona Project revered. All yeah, and all, that's his man. And I don't like hearing him say that about Pusha because I'm sure Push can say that about some of the verses that he's written for Kanye that took off. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not fair. That's true. Fair exchange, no robbery. If if I'm lacing you with something to take off, I expect I expect reciprocity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Creatively, and that Tiana project was fire. Actually, mm -hmm. I didn't know something was wrong with that. I was talking to Tiana at the time. Well, I remember, I remember <laughs> I mean, she there was, was some shit. Yeah, there was yeah. a lot going on with yeah. that. Yeah, they were talking about. We were actually talking about her this morning because it had to have been something going on because her talent is insane. Mm -hmm. So for you to have had hold of her, she was signed to you, and it was just kind of like things were just kind of I don't want to say flopping, but. They weren't where they should have been. They weren't where they well, should have been. Well, we've seen that happen we before knew that. with other artists. Tiana, so that, Tiana, I don't Tiana put knew that on it. That. But yeah. cream rises to the top, mm -hmm. right? Like through through label turbulence, if you're really good, you'll find a way but Tiana She is has done really that. good and she's never really she, in the conversations I like agree. she should be. Yeah. Crazy. I, that, I, even, I, just, I totally disagree with that. Today. Really? Um, today, today, she's in the she's in the she put herself in that conversation. But yeah. doing other things, though, yeah. you know, yeah. being a creative director, being a music video director, acting, this mm -hmm. has put her into the conversation. But before that, her singing talent was her singing talent. It was fire. Yeah. But nobody ever, when everyone's talking about new age R&B, who are it the top artists, they weren't, with the she wrong wasn't naming her. Situation. Wrong We've matchup. seen this yeah. with other artists yeah. that yeah. were signed. Fucking Travis Scott was signed with Grand Hustle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You didn't see nothing. Right. And it took you getting with the right people that see your genius and really see what to do with you that can now blow you up. Mm -hmm. It happens. It yeah. does. Listen, what Ice is saying is true. You see the genius in yourself. Don't wait on nobody. It's going to be you in your room for sleepless nights and, and self-doubt and all of those other emotions. It's up to you to make yourself appear valuable to the rest of the people and then hope that somebody knock on the door and help. I think this is a really good time to highlight. I have a clip, but I won't bother searching for it. Whatever it is that some of you creators out there think you're great and bomb diggity at is not where you're going to end up being great and bomb diggity at. I'm a, yes. prime, I'm a yes. prime example of it. Mm -hmm. So great that we all got plans for ourselves. But when we say the cream rise to the top, we're not talking about professions and numbers. 
We talking about humans and mm-hmm. people. Greatness, yep. just in, in greatness, greatness being in you. Yes, if it's on you to adapt. In. Hey, you feel like you the master chef and it didn't work out. Niggas ain't fuck with that roster pasta like you thought. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's time to go write maybe a chef book. Yeah, it's maybe go time to get the young chef that has the appeal to the people. Mm-hmm. Is it don't it don't you don't lose track of what you're great at. You just gotta find a different way to be great. Yeah. Right? Right. I with what you have. Yeah, I, I hate I hate hearing that from people. Like, people say that about me all the time, and it's, like, triggering. Like, yeah. because I thought that I should have been the best rapper in the world should not have anything to do with being the best broadcaster in the world. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, sometimes your road is to get you somewhere else. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that shouldn't mm-hmm. be frowned upon. And Can you got to go through question? that road to get there. Yeah, you have to. Just like, I... <laughs> You've been waiting on that. So, you know, <laughs> you know, talking yeah, no, about your like music career and then your broadcasting career. And so you have a very extensive knowledge on music. We all know that. So but when you give your opinion out there and people always say, oh, he's just mad or he's just bitter because it didn't work out. Like, how does that make you feel? I always wonder that because that's the first thing they run to it do, that when they talk about. That doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. Though, though I'm thankful for those people because those people weren't here before. These are new people with new conclusions and theories. Mm-hmm. The people that were here before, they didn't have to guess. They got to see me being bitter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I did it. I was the bitterest nigga on the block. Mm-hmm. And fought through it. Mad, bitter mad, mad, I was. You were. I was and, mad and at fought everybody. Through that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, you know, you know. I don't bother talking about it a lot, but imagine being bitter at something that you love more than anything else in the universe. Mm. That was the fight for me coming into broadcasting. It's like, damn, I love this shit too much. It's hard. How do I let go and say I'm not, how do I say I'm not doing this no more and mean it when I love this so much? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do I come to grips with, hey, what you thought was coming from this, that ain't where it's at. Like, I remember the conversations calling Al Grumblad and E1 like, yo, dog, I'm trying to buy a house, my nigga. What are y'all doing up there? Like, it ain't his job to care about me trying to buy no house. <laughs> Man, if you don't get off my phone as an artist. But that's where you landed. With all of your talent, all of your gems, all of your bars, this is what it got you. At some point, you got to put your brain and some other, other things into work. So those people missed the bitter button. Yeah. This is the happiest Joe Button in the universe. Mm-hmm. I've, I've, I've never been this happy ever. Like, people keep going, yo, how you doing? Like, the people I don't speak to consistently. Mm-hmm. I say, no complaints. Like, and it's not a lie. Like, people just be lying. Yeah. I say, my kids is good, my parents is good, my, my relationship is good, and my profession is good. It's so good, I, it's scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you're not, it's, it's, a, it's new ground for you, where everything is just good. You know what I mean? It gets scary. It's scary. Like, where, where we come from, the success be scary a little Absolutely. bit. Mm-hmm. It take you some time to get acclimated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has to be like a mind sh- mindset yeah. shift. Mm-hmm. But once the once the my once my accountant told me once I hit that lick and my accountant told me that uh, the government expects you to now stay at this level or make more the next year and they're factoring that in. Mm-hmm. Oh, that put a different type of pressure on me. I was out. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was out. Hey, government. I this is the one time I agree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Let's get to that. Boy, that's spooky. Cause I ain't never did this shit. That's yeah. pressure. But now nah, once you in that vibe, nah, fucking niggas. So I'm bitter. They don't know. And welcome. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Yeah. welcome. Cause I don't want to steer none of them niggas off. I want this to be a safe space for the people that love Joe Button, like Joe Button, dislike Joe Button, and hate Joe Button. Mm-hmm. All of y'all. I don't want to turn none of y'all off. He's so good at that. Hey, that I was gonna say because remember we were having that master. conversation yesterday. I was. Do you feel like some people just have an it factor and others don't? Yes. Yeah, we have this absolutely. conversation absolutely. all the yeah. time. I really feel like some people just have it. That's why, I like what you were just talking about with like you being a rapper first, now you broadcasting and you've been successful at both. Even though you didn't stay in the lane of being a rapper, you were still able to move on to this and become successful doing this because you just have that it factor. I don't think. A lot of people can do that, though. They can. Yeah. They can. You've so, seen, so, but I feel like it tran- but, it's, it's transferable like it's, skills. Yeah. And, and a lot of people mm-hmm. don't have them. But people get so upset when you say that. But you know what? You know? Coming from that it factor, some people have the skills. Mm-hmm. They just don't have the it. it. Yeah. Yes. Or they don't have the, or they don't have the determination and yeah. the work ethic to get to it. Because I was going to say, have we identified talented. what the it is? Like, do we know no. what the it You've is? You've seen somebody walk in a room. Yeah. And it's a packed room. Yeah. And they ain't open a motherfucking mouth. And everybody and just the, like, and, and everybody like, yeah. 
no jewelry on, no nothing. They mm-hmm. ain't. Some people got it and some people don't. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't necessarily about your skill set. Some motherfuckers got it and some, got some it. women can walk in a room. She ain't got the flyest shit on. She mm-hmm. looked dope. But she captivates the room. Some people have it. So, and they didn't open their mouth. Yeah. It's about, it's going to always be about belief versus resume. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Like there's some people that have it. But they haven't done enough to show you that they yeah. have it. So when they're talking to you, you either believe it or you That's don't. True. That's mm-hmm. true. You either gonna know that That's this true. person got that it factor or they don't. Mm-hmm. And then you have resume. The people that have proven enough time and time again to whereas no even if you, you shouldn't even doubt them, even yeah. if you don't. Yeah. But even or if, if you, you do, it don't so. matter. Yeah. Right. You could doubt them. Shine it, do but I'm saying, you, you should know this person right here just. Yeah, like when it. Bleak did uh, Bleak, it, Bleak did drink champs and saying, y'all talking about Hove and Rockefeller. My nigga has started 39 businesses since then. Yep, he just and y'all it. still on that. He's done it time and time again in different. Mm-hmm. But he said that on the interview too. He said he's just always been different. Well, you could look at him and tell. Yeah. See, yeah. I think that you could spot that. You could tell in, in early people, yeah. early Jay. You could spot mm-hmm. it. See, I, for me, I'm, it's, for me at this point, at for at my age now, it's resume. I'm not talking when you call me. I'm not talking about what you believe and what you don't believe. I'm talking about what's proven and what's been done on the indie Track level in music, on a major label yeah. in music, in reality television, in print, and in radio. Mm-hmm. You can look at it and see, oh, it's there. He did that shit. Mm-hmm. There's people out there that know. Like I don't have to. I'm not trying to convince nobody, no more. Mm-hmm. Like you this, don't have to. No, mm-hmm. this is number one for it's the second I said we doing this. That's not true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> that's not true. I put some sauce on it. I put some sauce on it. I put some sauce on it. It was it was Jack. No, it was combat Jack. It was combat Jack. I put some sauce on it. <laughs> it took about three that's years. When you start Googling. Yeah, no, let me not lie now. See, but that's the thing. Once you yeah. get to the top of the mountain, you can lie about how you got there. Yeah. yeah. I was there, though. <laughs> well, was that's like, how I'm yeah. not going to lie to y'all. Right. <laughs> but I can tell you, oh, that fifth lap. <laughs> I saw three bodies laying on the side, died from starvation. I kept it, I kept it trucking right past them. <laughs> nigga wasn't there. He's like, oh, shit. You that nigga. We say that in the hood all the time. You go to somebody's hood, they start blabbing about how they don't. They, yo, I got you out of here. Yeah. I, I will protect you. I'm the nigga that did. You see that? I, I did all of that. That's mm-hmm. my people. I got it. They beef him, but I, I hold it down for you. The other nigga get out and send him to the store. Yeah. <laughs> or send him to the upper room. Yo, go to the store for me. Nigga, you talking all that shit. All right, you want your Not change? the upper room. The upper room. Look, I've seen that. You want your change? Room. Y'all know the news is saying unalive now? Where did they get that from? Yeah. The news is saying unalive. I thought that was weird. Know why? Really? Because us. No, nah, even just us. It's just what happens is people people go and take <laughs> people go and take clips and shit and put them online, and mm-hmm. that word. Well, they it, were using it, it, that it word because they were censoring what they were saying. Yeah. They yes. don't want to say killed or dead. Killed, and things like all that. of the things now yeah. so affect they were using your online to, shit. Yeah, so. <sighs> Exactly. It's a like, this shit is getting annoying, it's bro. A, yeah, like, all this fucking, like, we're gonna switch all these words up. Shit, yeah. it's annoying. God damn. In a couple bro. years, we're gonna look back at that shit and be like, that was stupid. Yeah. Like, you're making a bunch of people. Soft isn't the right word, the but soft is, is the very right word. Soft. These days. You have too to be sensitive. very careful. The five day say. work week is stressful and depressing, too. So like, we're changing the words. Let's change yeah, some you gotta shit change up. everything. Change it all up. You gotta change yeah. everything. Let's change this fucking traffic outside in the day. These gas prices are annoying too. Let's change that. Yeah. Yo, niggas in luxury cars complain about traffic, boy. <laughs> I mean, I ain't got no luxury car. Yeah. Car. Mm-hmm. You still want to get there quicker? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do it, man. I mean, See, this is why I go to YouTube. I need to, I need to hear from the down to earth podcasters still. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the well, well grounded podcast. I'm saying, niggas, they ain't really Look. got to the check yet, Mm-mm, so they still, like, they still, they still giving real honest opinions out there. <laughs> and, and another thing about Jay Z, that was some mother. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's how you buy it. No, okay. You got it, big dog. Y'all out there telling the truth so about well, things. We've had people tell us like, "Oh, I miss when y'all used to just say whatever the fuck y'all thought." <laughs> We did used to be saying some wild ass shit though. I mean, yeah, but I think also people hate growth for some reason. Of course, yeah. they, they want to keep you right here. They, huh? they want to keep you they right be like, here. Y'all yeah. were so raw when y'all was sitting on the floor, bitch. I didn't have no choice. Uh, nigga, that's where I was raw. sleeping. The fuck you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was sitting on my bed. I was sitting on my bed. Dre, can you move 
on your feet. I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> like, I'm a little pally. Like, no. damn, niggas was struggling. Oh, Dre, Dre was on the floor with you? No. no. I had a bed. Damn, let me get my oh, jokes off, man. <laughs> where are y'all sleeping at? Y'all sleeping ain't tight like that. Now. Now. She's playing. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 we been knowing each other for way too Thanks. long. Thanks, yeah. Just way too long. It's been a while. I like that. I like having history with people. Me too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like people being alive to have history with them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that's important to me today. Mm-hmm. It is. Wow. Because a lot of people get unalive. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I was thinking too, yeah. You got a different reason, Ish? I still got Muffin Man loaded up. Go ahead, give it to me. <laughs> I'm good. You want that that's cool. Wow. Um, were we done with the Jay-Z thingamajiggy? Uh, I don't even. Yeah, I ain't yeah, say shit. We did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, that's, we that's, that's, that's wealthy people business. Yeah. yeah. I, I I think it's astonishing that he got all them niggas to go to Atlantic City. You seen Atlantic City recently? It was crazy. <laughs> Atlantic City is crazy. Woo! It's down or it's up? A mess? Down, down, down. Really? Ever since yeah. Sandy. Ever since Sandy. Sandy. Uh, Slums. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sandy. Still ain't fixed it up? I haven't been down there. They're Ever not since Sandy. Fix it up. Right. They're not fixed yeah. it up. Wait, there. they had I'm, just fixed it up when Sandy happened. Like mm-hmm. a few years before that, they put all that money down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was crazy when I went there and like... So me and Lady L, L Lady Luck was running down there. Okay. Okay. That's when shit... That's, yeah. when, that's <laughs> when you could see shit lit up from the highway still going to Atlantic City. No more of that. You don't see that shit like that. Now it's just my dad and the timeshare. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's it. And then I get mad. I get mad as a celebrity when they start playing with my dad down there with the same name in Atlanta City. Stop playing. I'm coming down there to the little booth. <laughs> I'm coming right to your little booth. Get your manager, nigga. Craig. Come on. Stop trying to play with my dad. We at that age, we got to show up when niggas start trying to play with our parents. Facts. Our Facts. Facts. You Facts. 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 about to play on my yeah. mama's side. Stop playing. Get my, get my dad the big fucking room, nigga. I don't yeah. care who booked the timeshare last, last month. Oh, my God. Right. Your parents' beefs? You got to handle them shits like they real shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right, so we done with Jay-Z. We done with Kanye. Before we go any further, would y'all like would y'all like something to drink? Of yeah. course. Come on. What I we doing? What tequila. we doing? Oh, Let's light? go. Yes. Hey, I, 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 shot of Shot of Shot of Shot of No, no, we're not no, alcoholics. We're not alcoholics. <laughs> no. we, we have pamphlets for months, your local <laughs> uh, AA meetings. <laughs> if you're looking for a group, <laughs> we have one of those around. But we'll have a bell for when it's shot o'clock. Oh, <laughs> Mel, what's up? You want something to drink? Is there any um, wine over there? Um, what? what? I love her. She's <laughs> real clear. <laughs> 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 Like That's wow. a real fun nah. girl drink there. <laughs> well, is there You're any, ready, you ready to, to get lit, ain't you? Although, is there, oh. any, is there any vodka over You there? wasn't doing that around a 60-year-old Iranian dude. I'm... Mm. Uh, yeah, come I on. I get, actually, get like us. I don't remember what I was drinking, actually, when I was I know that's them. right. Yeah, mm. with whatever they ordered. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. 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 Mel, nice. outside, you were talking about... You were light. getting attacked by a lanternfly. It was fucking nasty. You triggered me outside, so I wanted to talk about it inside. <laughs> Oh. It was gross. I got attacked by what is it? Oh, it's called uh, the lantern flies. Spotted, spotted lantern flies. The spotted, spotted lantern, 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 lantern flies. Every, yes. That they've invaded New Jersey, especially over here. They no, they've Andorra. invaded the United States. Yeah, everywhere. I got it, girl. Okay. You know. And Mel and Ian <laughs> and a few other people, every time we see these things, they give me the government spiel parks on, and how, ice. on how we've been. Oh, Parks and no, no, Ice didn't do that. Yes, he does. I don't give you the spiel. He's not just down. Kill him. He's not down. No, I, I stomp on him. They give me the government yes. spiel kill on kill how him. you're supposed kill to them. kill them. Yes. And I got to be honest, that really does bother me. Why? I know publicly I have this mean guy perception that I deal with daily. Uh, but you're an empath. But in real life, he's an empath. He's an empath. I don't hurt animals. Yeah. I don't. I don't kill flies. I don't do none Mosquito. Of I'm the guy that when I laid down the sticky traps to catch the mouse, and I saw the mouse, I tried to take him off of there because you don't deserve to go out like that. Mm-hmm. 
My girl, nah, I'm gonna put my, him outside. My girl, he gotta my girl. get off. How he get off? That's what but I'm saying. But I'll, he ain't getting off. I'll put him out. Yo, you there? gotta get yeah, him off. He gonna die. Well, he he you gotta put oil on it. Fuck but like, my girl is scared of insects. You got one off before? Yeah. Not you greasing up the rest. That's crazy. And you think farting in public is nasty? Strike two. I'm yo, hey yo, rolling down the rim. I'm about to. <laughs> Can you tell me why okay, you believe this government rhetoric that we're supposed to kill these animals, these bugs? And it's say? not the rhetoric. It's actually true. Like the lanternfly comes from, it's native to like uh, China and Vietnam, and they are an invasive species here and they're killing trees. Oh. Mm. oh. You will see, there's nothing but, there's nothing but videos of them like hoarding onto trees and they're like sucking like the lifeblood out of the trees. Mm. Like they're killing trees. Can you they, speak to me about your experience with these insects? Oh my God, they are so aggressive. They just lay, just fly up in your face and all. They're, that's not the meaning of aggressive. That's not aggressive. That's it's not aggressive. aggressive. They, they chase way. you. That's not what they it's aggressive. They chase you. <laughs> they chase you. You know what aggressive? Chasing Wasps. is aggressive. This is not aggressive. Mm. Wasps aggressive, are aggressive. Though. If something is chasing you and it's flying in your face, that's aggressive. Yeah. It was on your neck. No, no, no. It's just flying flying. and you're outside in its environment. Well, they aren't supposed to be here. Neither will we. Never mind. Holy shit. Hey, hey, hey. (laughs) Pipe down. And if you you pipe down, pal. (laughs) You learn a lot about people through their views over the smallest shit. You remember you used to laugh at me with Finesse and the Monopoly game? Remember that? Remember you used to laugh at me? I, I double down I triple down in that I'm she go. sounds absolutely crazy to me and she's how? bothering me about how? this how you said an insect is not supposed to be here yeah how, what gives it's you an, no it's an invasive species to to where we are so humans, humans saying that is crazy huh? yo. so are humans huh so oh, are I don't humans. I don't disagree with that so we're not supposed to be here but we're not talking about humans we're talking about humans you talking like about- to do this what about is all the fucking time oh mm. oh we're having a conversation. But, yeah, but, wait, but you always... Right, so, all right, so don't, don't, let me do it and not him. Yeah, I don't you do, do that. Because she's going to give let, me the let smoke. Me do it, give it back to may do it. I'll do it. Give him what the same you, smoke what, you was about what, to give what me. Do, what do you say for the humans that kill trees? That cut trees down every fucking day? Oh, yeah, for book, uh, for paper. I think th- I'm I, asking Melissa Ford, please, poor minds. I didn't say that. Yeah, but Dre looked like she was about to get froggy. I did. I wanted to say something. Well, let me hear from Melissa first, please. What do you say to those people? I don't like it either. But you don't say kill them. Kill humans for, for, for killing, for killing trees. the trees, which is the because reason the trees you said are to kill so the spider lantern. The trees are affecting your your air, your food supply, your ability to live. My experience with these bugs, and then we can move on. Is they're not aggressive at all. They don't bother nobody. They don't bite nobody. They'll land on you, but that's just them flying around. They're very peaceful. They don't just look, animal. There's no reason to fucking kill them and take them from you their haven't family. Seen, they like, insects you haven't, have families. You haven't seen the. Stop and now I'm about it. to say I'm, I'm dead you ass serious. Seen this the is near and dear to my them. heart. You haven't seen yes, the hordes they, of yes. them. Yes, and I and I. That scoop. doesn't look like an invasion. I to don't you? kill them. I'm just that's, I don't kill them. I'm not killing them because they're running around with their homies. I don't killed about six of them well, in the last fifteen minutes. Nor soul. do I believe the government telling me that we won't survive as a species unless we kill the lightning. Lan- 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 I never. Lan- said, who lan- said that bugs. we won't survive as a spirit as a species? Who said that? Then why do we have to kill them? We need the trees to live. So you are indirectly saying that. We can't live without trees. I don't so if you're saying we have to kill them because oh they're God. killing trees, you're saying we this cannot continue to argument. function as a species. I don't think so. I don't think so. Answer to it. Look, we're having a conversation about fucking industrialism, okay? Mm. We, we started, didn't start cutting down trees yesterday. We have deemed trees... We're having a conversation about you being a killer. <laughs> I don't know no, what you're no, talking no, about. No, we're talking no. about you being I'll a killer to something that's just flying around. It, it no. bothers me. I don't like it. I, I, they're an invasive species to where we are. They're killing trees over here. We don't cut down every single tree. We have different and, uses for and trees. Therapy too. You nasty. That's nasty. Oh my god. That's this nasty. Is ridiculous. You need to call your accountant. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Not. That's crazy. Nah, I ain't gonna do it. That's I'm crazy. Okay. Anyways, do it, guys. Nope. Wow. I don't know. Mm. The same shit. Me, it's gonna die. <laughs> you can mark that if you need to. Now, if you don't crawl on me, that's different. Now, I think people who just kill bugs just for fun, they're unhinged. Cause why? And I don't. No, not, not no, 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 no. I know, yeah, you, I know. You're yeah. not saying that. Like, th- there's yeah. ladybugs. Do. I don't. No, I don't. Yeah. You have absolutely no proof of this little lightning bug and in, in, in interfering with anything that you. You know do what? I was doing a little bit of research on the bugs. So scientists basically wanted to see, you know, would 
is there any predators that do they have a natural predator? Because that's the ecosystem. Usually every single species has a predator in order to keep, you know, like a balance. Mm-hmm. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes. In nature. Nature needs to be balanced, you know, predator, prey, et cetera, et cetera. Correct. Over here, there is no predator for this bug. We they, are. Other than us, Mm -hmm. other than us, there is no predator for this bug. And in that way, that is how a species becomes invasive when there is nothing to control its growth. So, Joe, let me ask you a question. What do you think about the bed bug situation that's going on in Paris right now? Right. Like, Mm -hmm. what would you do? Tell me about it. Uh, bed bugs they have are invested in, in it's infesting bad. Paris. It's in, they're yeah, it's everywhere. Trains, everything, everything. And they're, I mean, they Hotels. bite. And guess what they are? An invasive species. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. A, a bed bug can interfere with how you live life on a daily basis. So if you want to tell me about killing them, then that's a different argument. I don't support that. I just seen some shit that could vacuum them niggas up, suck them up, call somebody to deal with them. I don't support killing the nobody. The trees that these bugs but, but are, I know the, I the sound, trees that I know these I bugs sound are nuts killing, to the, audience the trees that these bugs are killing are the trees now, that are in please. the parks and shit like that. No. And what does that do? Trees create oxygen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like they do. It's an invasive species to the natural flora and fauna that is created for our for everybody's have like you, have, you seen, have you seen them do it yes i have where have you seen them do it i've seen in la toronto no, and New i'm York. walking where in, have you seen them i've, do seen, it? Sarah, I've to- seen them tear plants in my backyard thank you and i'm in the park where have you seen a lightning lantern bug <laughs> kill a tree the That's park what I'm up you. the street literally i'm in that okay, park almost every single day it, and i have seen okay. them devouring it's trees okay. we got it we got it. It's okay. It's fine. Kill, <laughs> kill, kill them all. Kill them you, all. You asked her where she saw it. And she I, I know, but this is what they do. But this is what they do. This is what they do. This this what they do. Okay. Okay. I'm not just I tuned her out five minutes and ago. And that is what they do see? as well. No, I tuned her out say, five do minutes ago. Don't say today. I'm I'm don't say day I'm now. I'm done with you. Okay? We don't kill them bugs. Okay. They got a dot of day. Moving right along. Okay. Well, we got to Atlanta residents here. So... I want to, yes. yeah. Mm. I, all all work stoppages are near and dear to my heart. Mm-hmm. Same. All strikes, I'm glued to, like yeah. murder mm-hmm. mystery docs. Mm. Yeah. Especially when I love the restaurant. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I love Waffle House. Mm-hmm. Oh. I love the a Waffle patty House. Milk. I don't. But. I love a patty milk too. Mm-hmm. How could Chocolate you? Know? Well, you was waffle. inside. Okay. You think that's a diss? I'm not. I didn't, I didn't say anything. I just said, okay. Waffle House I'm not holds in that a anymore. special place for the people that were leaving a spot at 2, 3, and 4 a.m. Mm-hmm. And needed a quick little meal. Mm-hmm. I stand yeah. with that. I, I say the saying. only time Waffle House is acceptable is late night when you're drunk. Agreed. But I know people I that go there. I, I go there for breakfast. I will eat Waffle House at 12 o'clock in the daytime. Yeah, y'all Ooh. can have that. I can eat that shit every day. I know where all the Waffle Houses are on the drive from here to South Carolina. I'm going to tell you why y'all say that slice them tomatoes ain't one, around, ain't one around where you live fact that's really what it is okay i lived out there where i had two waffle houses within 10 minutes of me mm-hmm. and after about a week two weeks you realize okay this shit is only cool if you're drunk the same way we feel about white castle is how a lot of them feel about uh, the way we feel about waffle house is how a lot of them feel about white castle mm-hmm. exact same thing I, they don't have one i received that but i will tell you anytime i pull up to a waffle house those don't look like tourists in there. Yeah, damn sure. Right? <laughs> I'm just telling you. And Martha I, with the two teeth know everybody <laughs> in that bitch. Sure enough. There ain't no right. tourists. Well, late, late, <laughs> but late night the drunk. Waffle but House, yeah. the Waffle House in Atlanta, they are on strike. They have demands. They did a walkout. They filmed mm-hmm. it. This has been on the news. Mm-hmm. Uh, and let me go right to the clip. For our security. That's it. And you, workers the right to decide safety regulations at their own workplace. Say yeah. that. Say that. Never that. We demand twenty-five dollars an hour. Nope. <laughs> Negative. All workers, all cooks, and all servers. <laughs> Never that. We demand an end to paycheck deductions for meals that boys may not even eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, with, nah, I'm, with I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. That's it. And workers the right to decide safety regulations at their own workplace. Say that. Nah. nah. We demand twenty-five dollars an hour. <laughs> Say it again. Well, those are the demands. Mm. 24 hour security. That's it. And workers mm. are Hey, the Waffle House gets wild. It gets mm-hmm. crazy up there. We demand one. All right. 
I think Andy, we've heard their demand. Andy, yeah. Andy better sit his $25 an hour ass down. Oh, Yo, why? I'm rooting I'm for y'all. I'm rooting for y'all from outside the picket line. No deductions for the meals. I'm, I'm with that, too. I'm with that. I'm with that. But $25 an hour, I mean... That would be nice. $25 an hour for an establishment where I've walked in and cooked my shit myself sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're asking for a bit much at the negotiation table. Yeah. I think maybe they were shooting high, though. I think sure. they, were they were shooting, shooting high, to the moon. So, yeah, so they could the find some kind of it's, number it's that they could agree on. niggas that's graduating college yeah. that don't make $25 an hour. But that's that true. doesn't mean that they don't deserve a, a livable... I think if you have a job and you're working full-time, you should be able to pay your bills and have a livable... Income. Wait, agree. Yeah. Like, I agree. That's with that. insane. That I'm, the, in, I'm, in, I'm not disagreeing. No, with you. I'm just saying because I think it's so. I literally, I talk to Dre about this all the time of how like blessed I am that we're in this position right now because it's fucking bad out here. It's, yeah, it the is. rent is crazy. You know, mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. you need to stop. <laughs> I'm just saying. So it's like these people are working and you they can't your, live. You, pay, you paying your rent? Huh? You paying your rent? No. What you mean? <laughs> I love oh, you paying your rent. <laughs> Yeah. Yourself? Dre, you paying your rent? No. Oh, my exactly. God. Oh, big Dre. Oh, 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 oh. Dre, talk the, about it. And made the face like <laughs> that. You see the face? It's that Louis Armstrong nigga paying the rent. And, and she tried to save her girl. <laughs> yeah. She did. I didn't know what y'all were talking about, because I'm talking about Waffle House. We're going to get off topic. All I'm Who pay your rent? Is... I'm talking about Thomas House. <laughs> I'm in your business. Who, who Waffle pay your rent? House and Thomas wow. House. <laughs> no, I'm not. Who? Thomas. I love, I, Anyways, I, love I just feel like... People need to be able to live. It's getting ridiculous. You teach your people can take a pay cut. These CEOs can take a little pay cut to make sure at least people can eat. Why are y'all <laughs> making them pay for their meals? That's oh, crazy. If I'm working, I can't have a little a little waffle, nigga. That's crazy. Well, yeah. A little patamel, a little tomato, nigga. Yeah. I get mad when I'm I busy. should be able to eat a waffle. I'm waffle. saying it's ridiculous. You, work get, yeah, you work at a food establishment that throw away food eat. every day. Yeah. Yeah. True. You're every to get a free time meal. I'm in a waffle house, I order the same thing, and it's a different price every time because niggas is adding different shit. On it, so it's like y'all don't even know. Like, just let them let them eat. I agree, I agree with that. It's oh, crazy. Twenty five. I'm on Waffle House side, yo. No, I'm on their side, but you are. I, I want them to get what they're asking yeah. for, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't. Not, think it not is. all of it, but you shoot out. You're not yeah. getting all of that. I do. Listen, Waffle House already right. giving y'all all that damn food for fucking nine ninety nine. <laughs> that damn all star platter. Y'all keep going in there ordering with all the shit. Stop it, god damn it. But I think people are taking it so far, like, oh my god, if y'all are paying cooks twenty five dollars an hour, this is gonna ruin the whole economy and this and X Y Z. A lot of times, it really comes down to people don't feel like people deserve the $25 an hour or stuff because they feel like that's what separates them mm -hmm. of being better than somebody. Yep. To be it's honest, also like y'all should get a raise too. Huh? You know what I'm saying? If you make $25 an hour yeah. now and you're threatened by them getting $25 an we hour, should, you should get a raise too. We all need to be making yeah. more honestly right. with the price of everything. I'm going to jump in with some realism here inflation. so we're not just it's talking. I don't want to sound hey, like Waffle House people, newsflash, hate to break it to you. If, in fact, they decide to start paying their workers $25 an hour, y'all won't be the workers. Mm -hmm. Hate to break it to you. That's true. If you need to learn, look no further than how what much, happened in McDonald's. How much the teacher starting off in Atlanta? Mm, I don't what know, do like thirty. Don't think that. Nope. Don't Stay think there. he right. Don't so think if that. If a teacher making thirty five dollars and you paying the nigga at Waffle House fifty dollars, they're not going to pay you. The Waffle House the nigga, there will be no yeah. employee. He's going to look at the numbers that whatever y'all saying would amount to. He's going to compare that. To the numbers it takes to put one machine, two machine up machines mm -hmm. up in here, so we can order our all star platter. And the machine don't and, take no break and, and decrease the violence. And the machine don't even want no free. They don't want no free <laughs> Yeah, the machine, <laughs> machine, machine, no. machine ain't gonna fight back. We not, we not, no we not. sweet tea or nothing. Nothing. We not up against. You're not up against people. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You, you up against. <laughs> you up against no the bullshit. technology. Yeah. yeah. Twenty five dollars an hour mm -hmm. each. You know, and the other thing about Waffle House, right? Like in Atlanta, y'all looking at y'all Waffle House, which is lit, right? Y'all Waffle House is popping twenty four seven. Yeah, mm -hmm. facts. That is true. There was another. I think that was Chick Fil A or somewhere in some town where they was working in the building, and it was comic comic fest happening and Comic -Con. They saw, Comic, Comic Con happening and they saw an influx to the business so they decided to walk out like yo y'all are now making an additional 50 to 70 grand a day we need a raise at least while these Comic Con people hit that don't work like that Atlanta y'all are looking at y'all popping Waffle House Waffle House is looking at the Waffle Houses all over the nation mm -hmm. and, or nigga not just and Atlanta, some of them are not in well, Augusta in 
Savannah yeah. and Making all, some Justin of them Georgia. are not performing yeah. the way Waffle mm-hmm. House wants them to and y'all get to make up for some of that quota. Waffle mm-hmm. House is not changing due to the high traffic that you experience and they got to look at everybody's predicament. Not just y'all's, but I do support y'all because I support all work stoppages and black people getting their money. Yeah. But this is going to be a hard, a hard one. I agree. And I fuck with Mark. You know how, you know how mm-hmm. much they would have to increase the prices fo- everywhere the of the food? The food of the, and we talking about, wow, it's problems at the ports. It's problems at the ports. If yeah. I'm going to pay somebody, it's going to be somebody to get my shit off that port and to my establishment. Into circulation. Mm-hmm. That's what I got. Salute. I'm with you. That's what Damn. I got. That's what I got. I'm hey, y'all talk, y'all talk about food, man. I, I got I to gotta get some hate off my chest real quick. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's a little, little bit of hate. A little bit of hate. And I am half Jamaican. So to my Jamaicans, yeah. I, I apologize. But yeah. y'all have to stop disrespecting mac and cheese, bro. I can't take this shit no more. Oh, I like happened? it. I like it. I like where you're going. Get your shit I off. like where you're going. Nah, get your shit off. <laughs> Dog. Talk, talk to them. It is bad. I, I have... What'd they do with the mac and cheese? They fuck it up. That's okay. what they it do. Looks, they it's like you gotta pie. slice it like cake. It shit look like a, yeah, it's it shit like terrible. a loaf. But they say it's a difference though. If you talk to a Jamaican person, they'll say that it's macaroni pie. It's different from macaroni I don't cheese. want, it's, it's macaroni bullshit is what it is. <laughs> it's it's terrible. I'm sorry. I agree. That's All crazy. Way. That's crazy you and Parks feel like that. They put. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't subscribe to this. You are. So you and Park, You and Park's talking to them Jamaicans. <laughs> Flip, what say you? I'm just listening. I don't eat macaroni and cheese or macaroni pie. But you don't. No. Mm. All right, that's three. <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 no. Hey, yo, you don't take your That's three. That's three. Rest in peace. Keep playing with him. Tina turned the biopic. Stop. <laughs> Leave me alone, man. No, that dance shit don't mean nothing. Stop. Sorry. I thought we was right here. No, we're not right nowhere. I closed my eyes. Listen to you, nigga. I closed my eyes. You all have Jamaican. Correct. It's blasphemy what you're saying. Okay? So I can't I just, tell the truth? No. Not when it comes to us, nigga. We, want we got the most churches on our island, nigga. Huh? What that mean? We holy. Do can't, don't talk shit about us. Oh, black people still think they got the churches? Oh, Jamaica has the most churches in the world on that little island. And yet and still. <laughs> and yet and still what? Ooh. Finish that ish. I don't want no sauce. Chill out. I'm not letting that. Even though the macaroni pot look crazy and it tastes nasty, <laughs> we can't say that. <laughs> Why? Wow. It tastes nasty. I don't eat it, but <laughs> that shit is bad. Nah, it, ain't, it depends on who makes yeah. it. No, no, it don't. It ain't. It ain't. Yo, I, bro, I've had. I've had it do. Never had it good. I'm okay. telling you, my best friend is Jamaican, and her mom make macaroni pie all the time. Yeah, true, that's meat. true. But I'm just saying that he's half Jamaican. It should be no slander. I do agree. That's about why the- I should be able to say it. Yeah, but say it differently. Say, yo, you know, I don't really agree with the macaroni <laughs> pie. Maybe try macaroni cheese. Maybe, you know, not put so much of the cheddar in it. Say something different. No, it's bad. Bad. You got to call it. You got to tell the truth sometimes. Then I heard that Joe was saying that they make oxtail pancakes, not Jamaican. Uh, what? But this no, is that, oxtail that sound pancake. Like, that sound like niggas. Oh, I saw that online the other day. Why do you have to say just want to be the, left alone. <laughs> why do you have to say Joe was the What they do is they slid you no, under no, the bus. No, you know, no, I got to no, throw you no, under the bus. No, no. Because you able to take this shit different Why do you people? have to say Joe was saying and Joe is here? Because you stand on the head. And I was waiting for my perfect double Dutch moment to jump in. To say my point. <laughs> Joe was saying, I'm going to fuck him up. <laughs> uh, tell us about it. Over. it, 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 it tell over. us, tell they us put about the oxtail in over. the batter or they put it like on top? The sauce, the gravy? They put it in. Ugh. 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 That's, that's crazy. crazy. They, they put it in. I'm talking to y'all out there. And listen, I don't want to suppress creativity. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all little chefs is creative, you little TikTok niggas, y'all with the recipes. Some of y'all, some of y'all are creative. Keep it quiet over here. Yeah. I ain't gonna hold you, dog. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I might go. I don't even fuck with beef like that, but I might try. I, I might go. Hey, yo, dog. I'm not gonna hold you. I want it on the side, though. I don't want to end the battle. Nah, I, I might go, Listen, dog. I'm gonna try it, though. I'm gonna try it. I'm trying that. I don't even fuck. I had an oxtail slice of pizza. And that shit that's was different. Rocking. That's different. I heard different. that that's really good. That with the shit is all right. Out here, ooh, I, I want to go try. I forgot I had some. That's shit in Brooklyn. That's a spot in Brooklyn. So I want to tell y'all right. people that are out there consuming this that <laughs> yeah. the price of meat is up. Mm-hmm. Somehow y'all believe that all of the establishments have oxtail in bulk enough <laughs> <laughs> to sell them same pancakes. Oxtail through the roof. Yeah, through the roof. 
to put it over pizza. Like, even yeah, in Jamaica, it's about mac regular, and cheese. The that's just a regular oh, London oh, broil that yeah, cooks for bad long. Bro, that's, that's, At some point, you better start questioning the fucking meat yeah, yeah, that you're mm-hmm. putting inside of your body. I had to stop ordering steak from some of my favorite little Uber Eats places once I started doing science. Mm. You wouldn't stay. And why are you charging uh, this for this? They did a research on that in Atlanta. They were going to different places and actually testing the fish, mm-hmm. and it was not what they were saying. It was yeah. all until I mm-hmm. fish. Oh, no, it's bad. No, it's the, bad. Fish, yeah. the fish yeah. be the real yeah. thick oh, yeah. Yeah. The fish be the They're getting y'all with salmon, too, by the way. Niggas think it's halibut. It be... Johnny, <laughs> Johnny Buck. <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, yo. What it be? Yo, Johnny Buck. Johnny Buck. Why you keep what's so up, boss? Johnny Ang. Why you so you so freaky today? You all right? <laughs> Talk about a piece of yo. Shut up, yo. 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 Johnny Buck. I don't want none of Johnny Buck. <laughs> you call Johnny a fish? Yo, you wild. Yeah. Yo, you a wild boy. Yeah, yeah, so buck, fish boy. Yeah. <laughs> you a wild boy. Yeah, that nigga's a stupid. Y'all be careful out there ordering the meat as well. That's all. Question the relationship right. between the establishment you're ordering from and the butcher that they're ordering from. True. No, just yeah. use your brain. Let me Look know at the if, price. Let me know if you think they got the fire butcher pulling up twice a week. Nigga, just use your brain. If they charging this for this, something's off. Actually, let me help y'all out there. They opened a beach in Manhattan. I saw that this morning. What you, y'all mean, keep what you, what you mean by a beach? Y'all keep ordering your salmons. <laughs> The beach by the Hudson. It's about to get real freaky. A beach beach? A beach beach. Yeah, it was 10 years in the making. They got some sand over there and white people dipping their feet in the Hudson. <laughs> it's <laughs> cute. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. It's a it's beach, beach, beach over there. And it, <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. They paid money. You think they're going to have all that money in Manhattan and not put a beach at some point and they got dirty water right there? <laughs> Yeah. So they got a beach, got a beach front in, my, in Manhattan? And, and, so and, and guess what's going to happen? <laughs> Them apartments about to be Through 90 zillion dollars. Yeah. For yeah. you to come put your pink toes right in that dusty Not sand. Pink toes. Go ahead. <laughs> they spent all that money on Hudson Yards and I ain't been there yet. I got some shit over there. I know. Mm-hmm. They do. Which means absolutely nothing if niggas like me don't run over there. What you mean? Go through, go through. If you go through any mall in New Jersey right now, especially Paramus, oh, no, you got to relearn them stores. No, nah, they're going through the same thing at Hudson Yards. They got all them high class luxury fucking stores, they do. and mm-hmm. niggas ain't there like they intended for them to be mm-hmm. there. They got to make mm-hmm. up for that. You know, Neiman Marcus on their way out. And no, I want, it's already gone. Sachs, Sachs. At Hudson Yards, it's already gone. No, I'm talking about period. 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 Talking about oh, period. well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sachs is um, in the rings mm-hmm. to buy them. I asked Bird off. They said they wouldn't be affected, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, that's what they saying I mean I yeah. asked them I asked them so. It's alright We'll see You rich mm-hmm. niggas gotta shop somewhere Is there anything else That's near and dear To our hearts And souls We didn't talk about Keefe D and his Pac shit But frankly I don't really care about it I, I really mm. don't either It's too late Why you don't care Let Tupac rest Cause I love I love Tupac And he's not here anymore That's the beginning And end of my movie Mm. In terms of who did what, how they did it, why they did it, who got jumped, who went down, who is dead, who's unalive, who's alive. Like, that's not the important part for me. The important right. part is we had a generational talent and transcending talent taken away from us far too soon. This happened when I was a teenager. Yeah. I'm 43 years old now. Hey, if y'all want to keep the story to yourselves, then keep it. You was a kid? When Pac died, I was a teenager. 96. I was a teenager. 96. You would have been like 17? 16. 16, 17? 17. I mean, I know it ends in a teen. Yeah. I ain't thinking about it. (laughs) Biggie, too. So it's like, dog, as a 43-year-old, if that's y'all gang business and y'all can keep it to yourselves, she'll get on tape talking, I'll never testify, and it was the wrong shooter, and hey, who knows if he's lying, who knows if it's the truth. All Mm -hmm. I know for fact is Pac ain't here no more, and that was my nigga. Whatever y'all do with the details, do what you want. Right. But we're going to be tuned in. I, I'm mm-hmm. not. I don't think we're ever going to find out. At this point, it's kind of like... I don't think we'll ever know. I don't think we'll ever know. They've done movies, documentaries, shows. Yeah. It's like, it's just so much like... Stupid ass podcast enough. fans is out there like, Joe too scared to come in here and say that Puff had some involvement with Pox. <laughs> it's like, yo, y'all niggas get stupider. Yeah. Y'all get stupider by the day, boy. years later. Oh, thank you. That's what y'all want podcasters to do? Man. Come I'm, on here and implicate people in crimes with actual, absolutely nothing to back it or support it? Yeah. Is that what y'all think podcasting has become? Well, no, maybe it's it has. No, no. It's so just certain, so you know so what it is? It's certain names that they Ooh. they don't necessarily like. <laughs> so they just want you to dog pile on that. Not to use dog pile. Mm-hmm. Doing that. Yeah. But that's all it is. So they're like, and if you, particularly you, won't say it, 
because oh, it's because of relationship with this person. No, we we don't know what Puff did or didn't do. Yeah, who, who are we to say? Yo, for y'all out there to say that, I want to let y'all know that I have a relationship with all the people I want a relationship with already. Mm-hmm. I have it. It's there. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> That's what I got. Do you ever not speak on things though? Because you cool with people out of respect. Every week. Yeah. Twice a week. Hmm. Every week, twice a week. Hmm. I feel like you have to, though. That's yeah. how you respect the relationship. If you care about the relationship. Yeah. You know what it is? In, in, the, in the early stages of podcasting, see, because I challenge the people that say, hey, y'all don't give it up like you used to. Yeah. We don't give it up like we used to. Podcasting isn't what it used to be. It's not. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's the part that fans and consumers always leave out of that. It was the wild, wild west. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When we started doing it. It's just anything to disrupt and cut yep. cut through. Yeah. Some people did it, some people didn't. Smaller audience too. Not for nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, and then all of the people that had some money came to the party and started giving money away. Guess what? The people the that they changes. wanted to give that money to, they got it, y'all. Mm-hmm. There's nothing you could do now about it. Mm-hmm. It's gone. Mm. So yeah, podcasting is real different today. But for me, the bigger the podcast got. You know, you're starting to see people and look them in their eyes and they all get humanized yeah. by, hey, I listened to you. You said this. This hurt my feeling. Just now, I just Instagrammed some shit. I said something. Jason Tatum ain't come to the last pod. I pod about it. He responded, yo, I'm, when the time is right, like, we don't know who's listening. That's yeah. true. Yeah. We don't know how they That's receive it. True. So at some point, if you want to get better at this and grow, you'll have to customize how you deliver your you have message to filter yourself. Oh, and on that you'll have to I won't filter right. yes but yeah. customize how you deliver it's really your not message filter. well I think that but you're not a, you, you guys are not acknowledging that with with growth things change mm-hmm. like you said the humanizing mm-hmm. with growth that. things change you mm-hmm. can't do that nigga shit you're because, not the same because the sponsors is not giving yep. they, they're not paying that's for that true. that's it's just not the even, truth about you, it you don't even have to have a sponsor you yeah. can grow as a person as yeah, a yeah, like, I, get people, I get people all the time you said it to me yo you don't give it up like you used to on Twitter and yes. it's like bruh yeah. I'm not that person now I got it. That's really what it. happens yeah. to certain people. It's like, yo, that was cool then. Yeah. It was fun. That was the, the rah rah, all that bullshit. But now you grow out of that shit. Yeah. The, this, I, and Sometimes I do, it's I, not attractive I, to you no more. Same thing with the, the type of skits I did. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. I can't example. go into the places and kick doors and destroy stores like I used to mm-hmm. when I first was trying to grab the attention of the audience. Mm-hmm. At some point, you have to change. Yeah. Exactly. And you have conversations with people that's in the building like, well, Flip, you look kind of uncontrollable. Mm. So we don't, don't want to do, put no we money, don't wanna put no money yep. behind that yep. if we feel that you're going into these places, ransacking it just for some clicks and likes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then now the money comes in when they know that, okay, nah. This we, is, we, we could trust yeah. you now. Mm-hmm. You could trust me. Mm-hmm. So that's, people always use that like, y'all niggas, you change, man. Y'all niggas is soft. N- n- I, we seeing these niggas. Yeah. Let's, let's keep it real. Mm-hmm. Some niggas that I don't want to talk about, I'm going to see them. Mm-hmm. And I know if you talk about me, or if they talk about me and I see you, you're going to hear about it. Yeah. I do unto others what I want done unto myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to see them. They're going to talk. They're going to try to like, yo, I ain't like that shit. Now, you could be ignorant, or you could be like, yo, you my man. I, I should have did it this way. Mm-hmm. It's reevaluation. That's it. It's a lot of yeah. shit you can do better. And that's why I, I fuck with you when you do that. And I like you. Give you gave a lot of grace. A lot of niggas you could have shot it up here, but you didn't off the strength of me. Yeah. People don't know that. You look at me, your flip. That's your man. Not, but that's your man. No, you got to say that. You got to acknowledge you, that. But it's you not just it. you. It's I'm talking about me. me. It's like right. Like I don't want to do that every week. Mm-hmm. Like, and I appreciate like, that. Like if you want to do that, there will be somebody that you can shoot at two times a week. Mm-hmm. True. For me now, everybody get kind of a benefit of the doubt clause. And my Virgo brain, I'm so harsh with what I really think about people. Same. If y'all show me that we giving it up now, then I might come in here and just give it up and fight yeah. like the tax shit. That's your tax. Grace, 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 grace. Do you, do you, do you, do you. It's not till I had enough where it's like, hey, big dog, let's talk. Mm-hmm. Like, let's talk for a second. Like, that's a courtesy from a podcaster. Mm-hmm. Hey, I see that goofy shit going on. <laughs> I got the same internet everybody else got. I'm choosing to put that to the side. Yeah. Flex going crazy right now on NBA and Charlamagne. Mm-hmm. I go crazy on them two niggas too. Not like that. Mm-mm. He's, he's, he's I don't play. Crazy, crazy, I don't crazy. play the game because it's a game. Mm-hmm. In real life, None of this matters, right? True. If people's real life daily interact is not, as long as none of that's altered, I tell to you all the time. You then do. we coming in here to talk about 
A little baby replied to Krishan. Blue face went to jail. The nigga took a picture. Yada, 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 yada. This nigga played one-on-one -on -one in a game. Like, none of this shit is real. Yeah. It's fact similar. But when things come out, like, for example, like when Cardi says she felt like you were picking on her and, like, you're always picking on her. So, like, That's not part of that's that. That's not potting because we know each other in real life. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's somebody that I really know, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. deep and not. I'm not trying to say it's like that. Yeah, right. That's somebody I know in real life who's respectful of me. Her husband's respectful of me. We're cordial. We go out of our way to say hi when we're in the same building. That's mm -hmm. somebody speaking through the internet saying, "Yo, my feelings was hurt when somebody I fuck with did that." Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, 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 that you're not talking to Joe Podcaster. Yeah, you're talking to me. Oh shit! I remember when that happened to me too. I felt away. I don't want to do that to you. Mm -hmm. That's the end. Mm -hmm. Not very many people get that. Part of being a podcaster for me, and I'll wrap this up, is not establishing these deep relationships with other podcasters and artists and all these people. Same way Greek Freak said, I'm not practicing with y'all because y'all going to think we friends. And we're not friends. I'm looking to kill y'all. I agree. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for the friendship with none of y'all. Y'all down with another click that, eh, eh. <laughs> Well, I was gonna say I feel like we're y'all well, y'all down with that lackluster ass click that well, I don't fuck with. Well, I don't come in here twice a week I, and well, say, do that. "Hey, that whole click is goofy ass niggas and can't fuck with me." And everybody I left started failing when I left. Well, I don't come in and really do give that. it up. Don't do that. I disagree because I feel like we're oh, like okay. you. I feel okay. like we don't. Yeah. Like we, yeah. But I will say, uh -huh. hey, stop you on. can get I'm a on. docket. Let yeah. me say this. No, I'm joking. Let them talk. Let your talk. Nigga, welcome to hell. Flip. Oh, God. Wait, go ahead, Drea. All I was saying is, I kind of feel like we're similar to you in that way. Oh, I, I feel shit. like we are like not you. cool with like a whole bunch of podcasters. We don't run in clicks. It'd be me and Lex. And that's and people fuck with us. And but people, also, on top of that, we've always been Switzerland because we're not no, like, we are podcasters, but it's not like, oh, let's hang out with the potters and we're outside together. Yeah. It ain't never Swiss, been that. Yo, people, I want black people to stop using Switzerland as that term, too. They, but I mean, they, well, okay, they, we're, we're neutral. Day, we're cool with everybody. Hey, I'm bad with geography, but I know enough to know Switzerland did some shit, too. <laughs> Low key, I watched a uh, World War II documentary. <laughs> we ain't hey. hey. did no shit. It got real juicy. It got saying. juicy as fuck. <laughs> It was crazy, but anyways. That's Let me ask you a question real quick. Do y'all think being in the middle <laughs> I love them. can sometimes be a no be, be I'm, bad? I'm no. never in the being middle. Cool with, being cool with everybody no. has this downfall. Y'all think that actually playing the middle and being neutral, there's no downfall to being neutral. I, 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 no. can, can I ask Go ahead. Um, I personally don't think that if I'm genuinely cool with both sides. Yeah. Thank if you. I'm that's playing a saying. character or if I'm just doing this to... <laughs> I'm faking like I'm cool with both sides okay, to it. stay out of the shit. Then yeah, then yeah, it, that's some bullshit. But right, if okay. I'm genuinely cool with both sides, hey, a couple examples. Um, Joe and my brother had had beef, rap beef. Mm -hmm. It wasn't serious. Mm. I knew that as soon as it happened. I called him, called my brother. Yo, just keep me out the bullshit. I know, yeah. I know, y'all don't have no real beef. It's just. Petty, dumb bullshit. Well played by you, too. It's a few times I kept firing at your brother because you wouldn't say nothing. Mm. Like, this nigga want to keep being But neutral. I also feel like if I have a conversation but you, but with on, Joe, I'm I not respect you. It. I remember the line you had in that record you took out out of respect for me. Of course, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, that, that's that's the, play play. it was nothing. Play play. That's my point. Yeah. Yeah. When you and Rand, I love Arsenal. When you and Rand was beefing, <laughs> I'm cool with both of these niggas. Yeah. And that was a beef. Like, but Another I knew, bro, my guy, Big Ram, my niggas now. I never took a side in that one because I don't know how it started. I wasn't there for that. It's not my business. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's right, who's wrong in that situation, right. so I stay out of Agreed. it. I told both of them, yo, just don't, like, you ain't got to shit. Don't shit on dude when I'm around. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm not taking a side in that is because these niggas could piece it up. Yep. Now y'all go piece it up. And I went and picked a side and started shitting on you. Now I look stupid. Mm -hmm. True. Now what happens? And look what happened. They pieced it up. Same thing with him and Arce. They pieced it up. I got you. Nah, that's my man, and man. I Better was, not be too much on to Arce make, if you're out there. I feel like if I'm having a conversation with somebody on the other side mm -hmm. and they confide in me as a friend, I'm not going to be like, oh, Joe, let me tell you what they said about you. And vice versa. Like, if I have a conversation with him, I'm like, oh, well, they look what. So you don't, you don't, play, I don't like. If you don't you play telephone. In me and you I'm not even letting them talk about you. Cool. That's what I'm saying. I don't, right. I don't have the conversation. I'm not, I'm not, not having a conversation. Not, I, didn't I didn't know shit. It. If shit blows up, oh, I didn't know. He ain't tell me, did I don't, I don't know. And that. they put your name I'm, in there. Like, I did tell yeah, you this. Yeah. And then now you stuck I'm in the middle. No, I'm not. 
not in the middle. And then the person be like, why you ain't tell me? Why you ain't tell me? We had a lot of situations where motherfuckers be like, why you ain't tell me if you knew that this person felt like this or this is what they were going to say. Why you ain't put me on? No, you're not going to tell me nothing. Like, we not even going to talk about it. I'm cool with you and I'm cool with this person. No conversation. I got it. I fuck with both of y'all. We not even about to talk about it. I don't want to hear nothing. You don't talk to me about them. You don't talk to me about them. I agree. I feel like it's so many things to talk about besides each other. Besides that, exactly. The new school has made me kind of adapt my views on that because of how the people today view that. Like even with the flip shit that we talk about off mic, right? Like mm-hmm. in the 90s, it was 50 cent rules. You stand by the nigga I'm beefing yep. with, it's <laughs> right. both of you I agree with that. <laughs> that nigga's still yeah. beefing. Nah. If you communicate with the person after I told you what this grimy motherfucker right. did, yeah. you were part of it, then I have you to kind of look at you like you down, even if you don't choose to be. I know you love me, mm. nigga, but this is how you moving. Mm-hmm. This is how you moving. Today, with how people view it today, I, I can't. I never subscribe I can't do that. No, I subscribe, oh, I subscribe to it. I, I subscribe. Still, oh, I subscribe. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You still subscribe to that? Because I subscribe to it until those, I end. Those are my beliefs at my core. I wait, hold on, hold on, Joe. Like, hold, wait, 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 Joe. Though, I do. No, wait, Joe, because I subscribe to the same thing that you subscribe to, and you talk to me about not thinking and living like that. So I don't understand. You have to elaborate on which part. The part where is that if you st- if I'm beefing with somebody and I tell you about them and you stand with them, then I'm, uh, you know, both of you niggas is in trouble. You, you down with them. Are you talking about personally or professionally? See, dig, so that's, that's, that, that matters. See, but that's where you mix it up at. But I don't mix it up. That matters. I don't mix it up. So I'm, it per- I'm very okay. clear. I got it. I can do business with somebody and not like them at all. Mm, yes, you fair, say that all the time. Fair. And me they too. can not like me. Yeah. And we can have a successful business relationship. I'm, when I say what I'm saying, I'm talking about my personal beliefs. Oh, personal. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I, okay. I, I that's, agree with that's, that. But that's a lot different, yeah. too. Don't, you know how many people have sat here or I've done an interview with or the people that I just really didn't love? Yeah. yeah. Or, or, you're, or are you my man as an artist, but your handler, like your manager, is nasty. Yeah, nigga, I know him from, from 06. That nigga yeah. did some... But that ain't how that ain't how this business operates. Well, when I yeah. was speaking on, Personally, I was speaking though, on it perf- from I'm, a professional point of view. Okay, no, I'm not talking yeah, about that. Yeah, 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 because that's different. Personally, yeah, personally, it's a little different. If you know where I stand, where they stand with me, and you standing with them, then you could assume that at some point you're probably standing. That's what I was too. gonna say too. I just mm. feel I, like I, I don't agree with that. But, but, but per, but, explain the other side. Now, what I type just, of person? Because personally, personally I could have my, my relationship. All right, let's say you and Parks. I have a personal relationship. I've known y'all around the same time. I have a personal relationship with Parks. I have a personal relationship with you. Y'all were cool. Y'all fall out for whatever reason. I don't know the reason. Because I don't know. It's always three sides to a story. Mm -hmm. It's your version, his version, and the truth. True. I know what you're saying. I don't know who's at fault here. I'm not picking a side. It also depends on how egregious the shit And how how serious this beef is. Are y'all trying to gun at each other? I would like to respond to that. And it's a little more complex Wait, let me respond to him and then I I love this. That's true. And I agree with everything you just said. Mm. And that does absolutely nothing for my peace of mind when I'm home. Okay, but hold on. That that does absolutely nothing for when I'm home and I look to confide in you or tell you something or share with you or be vulnerable or just be communicate with you like we used to do. There's now an added variable and layer that because I cool have to that take person. into account. And because I know how you just fly with both. Now see, wait, let me okay, finish. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Because I know splatter, how you just splatter. fly with both and you being neutral, mm. that don't protect me mm. from all of that shit. So they both could be true. Okay. Now You're me, being neutral. Let me respond You're neutral. Don't answer to my fucking thoughts when I'm at home cool. thinking about this oppy, slimy ass nigga. Cool. What about the now, position? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me respond to that. Please. You knowing me, fuck, now it's fuck everybody else. You you knowing who I am. You know me. My we, trust is in you, not them. It, same it, it, same it, way co- your girl used to tell you. Correct. Your trust is in me. I trust you, not so the bitches. So now, if you know how... <laughs> I look, trust you, not look, the bitches. She ate that listen, one back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It took me years so now, to combat that one. Listen, listen. <laughs> if you know you got the beef with him, and if, if the second you even try to talk to me about that Involve beef... Me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did, would never. I don't do that. But I would never allow it. You, This is knowing So me. that's two people that would never. Right. Like, so who, now, who's going to account for the third? But what I'm saying is... If answer I me. Wait, wait, let me finish. You didn't let me finish. If I don't allow it with you... And I'm not I'm not allowing it with him. You should know me well enough to say, hey, he's he's a stand up dude. If he's not in it, he's not in it. Mm. And that's why the people that I'm cool with, they know that about me. 
They know where I stand. Hey, yo, if it's not a serious beef to where y'all trying to kill each other, it ain't nothing like that happening. Two points to respond to you. Sure. One, that's true in a time capsule because time changes all. Mm -hmm. I've seen the person that was neutral, 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 and then one side just kept yada, 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 mm. yada, and then at some point that person started to believe or waver toward that side. One. Mistake, but go ahead. Two, you're an exception. But what I'm, hold on. Mm. I could be an exception, but what I'm saying is to the first point where that person is yada 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 the yada you have to cut actually, that yeah. let me put it like and this and hold on wait, 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 let me put it real fast hold on hold on hold on, right hold on hold on the wait, niggas wait, 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 that's ride or die ain't neutral thanks but what if I'm ride or that's, die to that's two true. people before y'all was beefing that's true if I'm a loyal nigga to you and I'm a loyal nigga to him and y'all wasn't beefing I'll say this I feel now like what? you can still with be that, cool with somebody now what it's just not ride or die. You can it still, is ride or die, but I can be ride or die to the two cool, of you. Right. If I stop being cool with a person and you was cool with them before that, you can stay cool with that person. I'm not mad at that. For me, my issue be the people who go and You're get cool with You're just not getting a plate at my house. Yeah, you. It's people, but you have friends who will go get cool with people after. Mm -hmm. Like, after yes. they know yes. you already beefing yes. with them. Yeah. And that be the issue. Like, be the if, you, if that was already your people before me and them fell out, stay cool with them. I ain't mm -hmm. tripping off of Or I could have met y'all together. Right. Yeah. I could have met y'all together and but we was all cool. Lie, if it's somebody I'm close with as well, like if me and Dre mm. get into it, right. I don't want nobody to get involved. We gonna handle this. We no, got this. That ain't, that, ain't, that ain't how that usually happens. But I'm just saying I'm gonna get involved. I'm getting involved in that. But that's what not I'm how saying that is, happen, but though. you know what? In the past, that's what happened. A lot of other people, but now we know how to navigate when things when we yeah, argue. Yeah, like that's what me and Joe used to be talking. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was. Me off. It was. No, and I mean, hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm just giving was, a round of applause for y'all still being friends. I thought it was going rocky at one point. No, it was bad. But we talk about it on the show. Like it was bad. But one thing that we learned. When me and Dre get into it, I don't need none of y'all in the peanut gallery talking. I'm finna talk to my friend whenever we're ready to talk. That's the maturity yeah. and growth on y'all part. Because yeah. what usually yeah. happens yeah. when two people fall out, one wants to tell their story right away. They right. get as many people as they can on mm -hmm. their side. Yeah. 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 So now you, it's everybody look, you get around, I, they I start talking. Yo, let me tell we you what this nigga did. I, mm -hmm. I just make some noise for Whoopi Goldberg, man. <laughs> what? Look, look at that sister act. <laughs> <laughs> you want to rap so <laughs> bad. Look at that. You want to rap so bad. Oh, oh man, look at that. A lot of, yeah. a lot of podcasts oh, and things like that, they want to act like they're friends or act because it looks Tell it's me about aesthetic. It. It's aesthetic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it looks good. Oh, let me, let me, let me. Work, like I, real friends. I agree. Like, this is my friend in real life for real. Mm -hmm. I, I, let him get this off his I agree with Ice, right? Mm -hmm. Um... You gotta trust the person that's gonna be solid. You gotta you gotta have that trust mm -hmm. in your friend. You gotta know their character. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A lot of niggas, I think that niggas that don't trust is because they have conversations or will have conversations about others. Yes. That's why I think, because a nigga like me, yes. I don't give a fuck who it is. When it comes to my man or anybody up here that I fuck with, I'm not discussing you. I'm mm -hmm. not talking. I don't give a fuck yes. what you see. I'm not talking about you. You can't talk about my man. That's how I really live and I live by that. Mm -hmm. I change the mm -hmm. subject. I even bring it to your face. No, I'm going to tell you. Yo, oh, no, no, no. You're not on. doing that. I change the subject yeah. initially. Then I say, yo, you trying to be funny. I don't like that. You're not going to put me in that position. Exactly. You as my man got to trust that I'm going to uphold that principle. Mm -hmm. and That's how I do. They flip. And also, once I say that to you, if they put in you in I was just getting ready exactly. to say that. If you keep trying to put me in the middle and I'm mm -hmm. telling you I'm not, don't do that. You not my friend. Yep. Now I got a problem with you. Now I got a problem with you. Let's keep it real. But y'all can also see like, a person up here that, you know, Joe has given grace to. I mean, he talks about him and shit like that, but I got a call about it. Mm -hmm. And before we did it, even on the pod, I like, yo, Flip, you're not going to say nothing about it, nigga. It's right there. And I stuck to my guns. Like, I'm not going to talk about nothing. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm yeah. not talking about it. No, because that's what I believe in. Ooh. That's how I was raised. And on top of that... Strike four, me. Sometimes, oh, I, I like it. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> on top of that, I, me and Joe have a conversation. Me, Joe and I have a conversation about it, and he tells me, like, yo, my nigga, like, I really give grace. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even start to even fucking scratch the surface. Right. You know what I mean? And I look into that. Because I get calls like, yo, y'all niggas up there saying this and saying that. Like, nigga, what you talking about? Nigga, you should know better than that. So now I'm right. arguing. They don't ever call me right, about right. that. Right, right. You should know me nothing. well enough to know. Yeah, I'm not even know allowing that, that in my Watch presence. Watch the fucking show. Nobody and, say nothing and, about you. And yeah. what I'm saying, my what I'm saying about my ideologies are indeed circumstantial because mm -hmm. most times people don't even know the niggas I ain't fucking with. Yeah. Y'all don't know. Because like, like I said, I a lot of times sharing that, telling you don't, people you're, I, you're I, an anomaly in that part. Bag. You're an anomaly mm -hmm. in that part. Usually when two niggas fall out, 
somebody's running around to tell everybody right away. They want everybody mm-hmm. to know because they want to get a gang of people on their side. They want mm-hmm. it's like a breakup. See, I think mm-hmm. when you break up with a girl and she go run and say, "Oh, this nigga did this. He did this. He because now I got to get all the people on my side against you." See, all I don't the, care nothing about that. But, I don't. But, that, but that's what niggas do. That is what niggas do. I mean. Mm-hmm. Okay, never mind. We don't do that here. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get that out. Yeah. Well, no, when, I was just asking because, like, in the situation, like, you feel like you've never, like, because I mean, when things happen, like, you told your side of the story, so that's not the same thing. I'm just asking for the difference. That's what I'm for, saying. For for me, right? For me, a new part of that story that you're referring to comes out quarterly, right? Mm-hmm. And then the fans be like, "Joe was a liar," because. Why you keep changing the story? Mm. No, Joe is in a position where it's unprofessional to even give y'all the real story. You'll never really know. Mm. Right, right. Because I can't tell you. Not because yeah. y'all are listening, but because the people I look to work with are listening. Right. I can't come up here and take a contract with the yellow lines and say, look, they looking at me. Mm-hmm. Right. The people I work with are looking at me. Sure. They're they're like, if, looking, if, I, if our deal goes back. They're not back. looking for how I conduct myself with y'all, they looking mm-hmm. for how I would conduct myself mm-hmm. with them. Right. Yeah. So that's just goofy shit. Right. Yeah. So I don't really look at that the same. Okay. You know? I think it's different for sure, but it just goes back into what you were talking about when you said people think that you have changed. It's like, I haven't changed. I'm trying to make bigger moves. I'm trying to Talk go about to it. different mm-hmm. spaces and places. Yes. And I, I know that, that requires change. A lot change. of the time, your audience it, does not realize that. Change right? so is upset. not bad. Right. It's not There's bad. such a negative connotation with change. That's such a great point yeah. that you mentioned. Like, it, when I was going through what she talking about, I'm sorry. It's no, no, good, good. No. When I was going through what she talking about, like, Part of doing the work is establishing a relationship with your audience and knowing who the yeah. fuck your audience is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know my audience only gonna hate me for three days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 72 hours. Yeah. <laughs> like I said something like that before. Right there. Like the people that are leaving, those ain't the people yep. that I'm trying to target. Yeah. Mm. Because in this, it's, go like, it's, like I tell, it's like I tell a romantic partner, right? Like, especially as an entertainer, yo, we're gonna encounter some situations that's abnormal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sometimes it's gonna look and sound like it's some shit. We're gonna go through some. Just get ready to go through it. Mm-hmm. Same thing in, in pardon. If you're not ready to go through, don't believe some her. shit. You say don't believe her. Hmm? Don't believe her. I mean, sometimes she was telling the truth. Oh, okay. But me and my girl talk about those times when, like, they she had me. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. She, she had me sometimes. <laughs> Two bitches get together, start talking. <laughs> and like, I don't like compare, I compare I hate that. I hate that DM kumbaya it. shit. Really the DM. I hate kumbaya. Really the DM. I hate like, kumbaya. Why are you I hate that kumbaya shit. No, I hate it. Not gonna lie. I've never I been hate that I'm not, kumbaya. I'm not even. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not having no my girl conversation is with nobody suspicious. that dated by me. I be trying to walk her off the plane. She's like, and all them bitches that be on your page now they coming to follow me. But baby. They fans of you now. They exactly, to, hoes be yeah. No, them bitches is on to something, and they're trying to be funny. <laughs> I see all of them bitches. Don't come liking pics over here. You've been on my man page for a year. They don't get it. They don't get it. My girl going through the same thing. For real? Yeah, but my girl exactly. has found success with that bullshit a few times, so it's hard to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> hard to talk about. All right, well. Because <laughs> these fucking side chicks, the, the first thing they do is go follow your girl. Yeah. yeah. That is crazy. The first thing they do is go follow your girl. Well, Joseph, see how you treating your girl. They in the stories. Now they replying to your girl stories, and they Insta story. Stop. Well, you Joseph, the fuck I'm you talking. shouldn't oh, have side <laughs> chicks. <laughs> Well, I don't know. All right, good. I don't. I'm too I don't. Good. I love myself now too much. Sit, now you sit I back love, and laugh I, at I love and value myself too much yeah. to give one of the dusty bitches that I used to might have wanted to fuck for an hour the joy of exactly. bringing that back to, to somebody I, I love, love and care yep. about and trying to have there one we go. dusty bitch. Wow. I'm not letting Bro. you get that over my girl, dog. Yeah. Shout out to I'm not even letting you get that over yeah. her. Yeah. Say whatever the fuck you want. Because I can You're know I've used up. I can no longer use the... You think her? Gross. Like sometimes it was her. And, and, yeah, and it, it really was her. her. Sometimes it be her. her. <laughs> it really be her. What you really no. like? Big ish. <laughs> Join me. Come on. Word, Come nigga. On, you my squad. Like Talk. I don't really Join me. I don't really have Join many uh, experiences with that. That's facts. I see Real, nigga. I mean, I, I didn't look at it that fa- way. You be faithful. You. I didn't look at it that way. Even when I wasn't being faithful, I really didn't have that many. Slip ups like that, where yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hey, move, smooth no, oper- <laughs> smooth operator, nigga. Inspect the gadget. Nah, no, that's true. I'm not trying to be funny. No, I'm just laughing at flip. Nah, this nigga a celebrity, so 
you know. You a celebrity yeah. too-ish. You a celebrity I mean, too-ish. I'm not at running at around. Point. I'm talking oh. about back in the day. Oh, you, you, I, was, I wasn't. Salute. You're not salute. running around. Salute. <laughs> My man. Yo, you ignorant, my nigga. Oh, you saying? Don't. <laughs> and your girl cool as shit too, though. So like, it's like yo, when you got a cool chick at home, it's like I don't really need that bullshit. Yeah, but girls be taking it. <laughs> they be going be far. So... One of my friends told me a story recently. Tell about us. this girl that his friend messed with DMs the girl, like DMed his girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's happening. She went, that's called going oh, to her. So crazy. That's called going to you as a it's woman. It's so crazy to me because I feel like if you get into a situation, mind you, she knew he had a girl. So. I think if you get into a situation and you know a nigga got a girl, that don't work, right? that why don't, are you no. DMing Dre, 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 you know Dre, Dre, stop. Dre, stop. Dre, stop. You know better than that. But this is mind boggling for you. I agree with Dre. I agree with her. And there's some solid women that don't do that. I like because what are you doing? Some deceitful shit. I get it. Like you feel deceived. So like. You might be spiteful. You might be like, okay, I'm about to get at this thing. I'm about to fuck Let me ask you a question. That's why you, you got to have cousins and sisters. Yeah, facts. But let me ask you a question, Dre. What about the nigga that's telling her, I'm, I'm going to leave her for you? What about mm. that? You changing the stuff. No. I'm just asking a question. You knew he had a girl, but you started filling her head with the bullshit. What do you say I to that person? Like as women, and why do we do that? We don't need women, to. We, we don't need like, to. I want to change it again when he finished. What do like, you say about the boyfriend experience? The niggas that's showing you a grand time for two to three weeks had you thinking something, but that wasn't it. So he's mm-hmm. on to the next one, and now you was just mad. Because that stopped. Like Yo, right. this happens in a bunch it. of different or the nigga yeah, or you or get over it. Not not no, no, come on, dog. We talking about in the real world. Lex, you sat down in the real world about Travis Elsie's Kelsey's ex ex ex, the one we don't really care yeah, about, right. not getting over it. When a new when a new popping exactly. chick comes That's why we saying bitches. Yo, so what Kayla said. Losers. Kayla said, Don't fucking be fucking for real. Stop. Yeah. You seen that picture? What pe- oh, I, yeah. I seen mm-hmm. it. Kayla posted mm-hmm. a picture, she seemingly replying mm-hmm. to all of this Taylor Swift shit. She looked good. Then you had a nigga with three dollars, huh? What she you say? Looked, she looked good. Then you had a nigga with three dollars on Twitter that went viral saying, "This is like why black 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 men are the only men who fall for women like this and wife women like this." I, did I started see that. following Shorty. I did see that ten days ago. And I saw her ass. Seen her ass cheeks like five times. I saw that. A nigga with three dollars <laughs> and no bitches. Literally, he was talking about Taylor. Material talking about why black women don't get white. Well, 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 he totally missed the part. But why are you following her? Exactly, <laughs> follow you literally followed her just to I insult her, bullshit. just to insult yeah. this and woman. She's a beautiful. And girl. let me she stick is. up for the women with some somebody. Niggas done seen Taylor Swift little slinky ass a whole bunch <laughs> oh, of times. But them little slinky yes, girls can have. do what they want and we not say nothing. Them and the little little titty girls. Yeah, no, that that is they true. walk out, show them Same. little A cups everywhere. We can't say nothing. Yep, I but do let D cup mama come walking by. It's mm-hmm. true. And yeah, it looks away. It's a yeah, problem. true. Working it's in problem. corporate America when I had a corporate job, like I used to deal with that shit all the time. I could wear the same shit. You that, that uh, Sears? Where you was at? No. <laughs> Sears. <laughs> Maybe no. Mm-hmm. Oh, what y'all got down there? What's the, what's the uh, down south Where you Sears? Was at? Palais Rouge. Don't oh, let me go let me find out work. the next. Yeah, we waiting. So She's at Ross. I, don't freestyle so quick. Delks. Delks. No. She was at Delks. <laughs> First of all, we don't Delks have, is down south Sears. She was at Ross. I told you she was at Ross. That's where I went to school, though. It's Delks. You was at Ross. Oh, yeah, we was at Ross. No. First of all, Boss when off. I graduated from college, here's I do have a bachelor's okay, degree. Bo- okay, okay. Oh, 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 all right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all right, yeah. So Great. when I graduated, we got it. do not let them derail yeah. you from oh, your point. Oh, no, fuck that. Oh, oh, no. No. Wait, no. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Stop. We're going to talk Go about it. That college degree got you what? Uh-oh. I Uh-oh. had a corporate job. I was working was at an major? oil and gas company. I was making $60,000 a year. What was your major? What was my major? Mass communication. So I wasn't going to work I wasn't oil and gas, but obviously you. I live in Houston. I'm so asking all of y'all. Oil and gas. Take a deep breath. With y'all little degrees. 60, but I was 20. I, by the way, Girl, I was I'm not 23. Mad at college. With 60 and grand I was the only know. young black girl. So that with your college there. degree sure, and making good money, especially out there, was yeah. that enough for the lifestyle you want to live? No. The, but the, so why are you telling me about your the college point, degree? The point, all the you brought up was, this college degree. No, she's... Me, I brought it she's up. Brought and you bring yours up. up she's... Yeah, oh, I oh, never no, do no, it. I she she don't bring You are deep. 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 You I don't I give a fuck up. if y'all right. I brought it up because you <laughs> act shocked when I said when I had a corporate job, like I did not have a life before podcasting. No. Like I did not Correct. have a life before podcasting. That's, that's, that's not what I was That's not what he was talking about. about. Uh, you worked at an oil company. Uh, that's not what I was talking about. Before, you worked for Exxon. You talking about before the Rockets. I actually worked for Goodreach Petroleum in Houston. See, I know about them. And I also worked for Interviz. 
Google it because you don't know don't about have to. those companies. But they're See, but your point. I will fry ri- yo, hey yo, hey, 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 they trying you, dog. Hey, you can fry me, Uh-oh. and I can fry you back. Hey, you Boom. can. Is that what you want to do? I do want to do that. Oh, God. That's what. <laughs> Let me get my. Sh- Let no. me get my point across. So you were the original at point the end of the day. Was, talk over the each point other. was when I worked at this company. I used to deal with so much bullshit because of the things that I would wear to work, but then it would be a white woman who would wear the same mm. shit, but with no shape, no body, body not audience, didn't have to deal, body didn't have to audience. deal with nothing. But for me, it's like, oh, you have to come into the office. Um, can you not wear something so tight? Can you make your clothes a little more loose? It's a thing. For, it so Victoria's thing. Secret used to be like a sponsor, like advertiser with the NFL. Mm-hmm. And nobody used to say shit about the Victoria's Secret commercials that exactly. came on. But the fucking second that they had a Lane Bryant Intimates commercial, yep. oh my God. It was the, the complaints to the outrage, outrage yeah. to voluptuous bodies. We don't want to see that shit. Oh, yeah. oh, now, what? Now, now, now. You tripping. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. But y'all have to realize though, oh, at the end of the day, it's not about nobody wants it. it, it People are human. It, 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 Hold, hold, up. <laughs> hold up for a second. Uh, what? What size? Yo, what size Lane Bryant start at? You got smoke. Fat. Like 12, 10? <laughs> at this point, size 10? Just want right, bet. Size 10? Say less. Go ahead. And no, these were, and can I'll everyone say not speak over each other so I can I, understand what Okay, I'm well, let me say this one thing about Lane Bryant. First of all, it's not about being attracted to someone. It's humans out here who are over a size 10, and they need to know where to shop. Second of all, when uh, Joe was talking about my leg was big, I was a little thicker, but I before I got my breast reduction, I used to have to go to Lane Bryant yeah. to get my bras. We so know. it's not yeah, just... No, we, you know. we know. We know. It's not just for when, you know people who are extreme. The Dre is showing you the dark size, showed you where the real bitches shopping at. <laughs> <laughs> your Dre changed your life, girl. I had Bought really life big gang. breasts. So it's yeah, humans out Joy here Bryant. who need to shop. Yeah. I needed mm-hmm. a thick strap. I needed a thick, nude and thick. Mm-hmm. You know they don't make beautiful bras for the big breasted women. They do so now. They do now, but you know, it wasn't yeah. available then. Yeah. So so we shouldn't have laughed at the Lane Bryant plus size model. They were gorgeous. It was cool what you did to Buffy. No, because that's what America... Why do we do to Buffy? Why does he keep doing that? Joe. Joe, you have to do one that, Joe. That was fucked up. One thing had nothing to do with the other. I got cold no, from the You have to do that. Because if niggas don't like the big bitches, then... <laughs> right, man. Wait, I want women to stop pandering. So you trying to say that she didn't like Buffy because she was big? No, I'm not talking about Buffy. I'm talking uh-huh. about why Melissa Ford can't tell what people might have laughed at when Lane Bryant strutted the big, big, big girls out there. And no, the new, and no, the new that's not what they were. That's not what they were laughing. There was no laughter. There was a lot it was of outrage. Con- there was yeah. there was outrage. Discuss? No, yes. it was it, no. It, it was wasn't how even could a, you it, put this on our television? Even, this is a family program yes. and all of that type of shit. It yeah, was yeah. it was just like yeah. There, there was some laughter. It, but no, less disgust. No, I don't think it was. Hey, it the, was. Listen, man. These I'm sorry, women looked incredible. I'm sorry, you know, was, these women right, looked incredible. They looked incredible. To you, and every not the last size. <laughs> Okay, okay. What is the last Stop. Y'all gonna get me, y'all gonna get me <laughs> killed. I'm chilling. Yeah, come on, Joe. That's body shame. That's body shaming, Joe. <laughs> Some people need <laughs> You tell them. Uh, hey, don't point out. Try to have a clean image now. I don't fuck with y'all. 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 Okay, let me ask you this. So if he got a deal with Savage Fenty and he walked out there in underwear, you gonna laugh at him? Yes. He just told you he went to work out to be a wrestler. Hold on. Yes, we gonna laugh. <laughs> nigga, Greasy ass if he nigga. walk in here and say he got a deal with Savage Fancy, we say on the floor. Y'all, let me say that last. Uh, if he, if he got a deal with Savage, let's laugh. For some wrestling shorts, y'all gonna be laughing. If he got a deal with Savage Fanny before me, I would be so fucking pissed. Joe, stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's hate. Yo, I see you. Put the shades on. Them cheeks, look them no, cheeks. No, no. I can go behind the plant. <laughs> what? Yeah, this nigga said. What? We no. can't even see you. That's the point. That's the point. No, not that big. <laughs> <laughs> you a little thing. Oh, oh shit. Oh, God, <laughs> oh, wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, friend. Wait, so I, I'm saying this and I'm leaving. I'm, we getting out of here. We thanking our guests. The okay. blink of, look. We getting to sleep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if your co-host got a Savage Fenty deal, you would hate on him? 
for getting it before you? Yes. I would be why? such a, I'd be such a hater. But why? And I'm a nigga I, that I'll put you on. Okay. I just I feel I'll like put you on. I feel like, like for, I, I feel like but for, you just, wait, I feel this, like for obvious this, reasons. Why? Why you, you got a nice body me that the lame Brian you just Big bitches talk, talk. need to be seen. No. So if if he get, if he's seen before your little slim ass, <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. what is the yeah, problem? Fuck yeah. Slim ass. He skews. He skews younger. Let, let her answer that, I please. I want to hear this. No, 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 Body shaming. I'm talking about the I'll fa- take my shirt off. You know, stop. I know you will. No, no, no. If you want to take your shirt off, take go ahead. Off. Come on. It come is on. You are body this shaming. A, I'm and, not, and you hating on simply, your co host. It's, it's simply not, because I'm a woman. And because of her wow. resume. Wow. It's her resume. Wow. Too. Wow. It's my, thank you. First of all, <laughs> Melissa Ford is known for having a fire body. Thanks. Fire. And also peddling. So and, but and also me. peddling. What is Sabbath Fenty known for? Peddling lingerie and swimsuits. Oh. What is Savage yeah. Fenty yeah. known for? What separated them from Mel. Victoria's Inc- Secret? Inclusivity. Why did they put they fo- okay. Inclusivity. Okay. Inclusivity. They're not going to give it to you now, Mel, for that. Wait, let them I'm talk. not let talking them, no, no. about... Wait, hold on. Let them talk. Let's hear they both are, sides and stop screaming over They are known please. for what? Inclusivity. With all shades, all shapes, yes. all everything, correct? Yes, yes. You would have got the Victoria's Secret deal. No, God, I'm too thick for she's, Victoria's Secret. I'm too short and thick. I'm too short and thick yeah, for Victoria's no. Secret. No, they'd sooner have given me Lane Bryant than Victoria's Let Secret. Let me ask you a question. Mm. Who would have got the Victoria's Secret deal out of the two of you first? You Victoria, haven't. first of all, Victoria's Secret. The answer is my I answer is very direct. Oh my it's a, just, God. Yeah, it's a one or two, it's a one or two question. But she's, y'all gotta let, let her, her answer, answer flip. Me, me, stop. Me, because Victoria's Secret doesn't make shit for men. <sighs> That's right. They don't. They don't make right. anything for men. Right. So yes, what me. if he's a crossdresser? A Lululemon deal. Well, then there's something <laughs> so, different. Then I still, learned something new today. Right. If Lululemon, yes. He so if, if they if they approached him, yes. with the deal, yes, for reasons of inclusivity, mm-hmm. they have male models, they have heavier mm-hmm. models. Mm-hmm. No disrespect, Flip, you my guy. You would be mad at that if he got it before you. And I have you. a big following. And he has a big following. I know. It the knows. reach is there. The numbers are there. Everything no, is there. Everything not. makes yes, it for No, no, no. I'm talking about him versus her. Millions of Nobody's followers. looking at you to buy hey, yo. underwear. They would they look, look at her at and be like, numbers. I want that set. Lex, they look at numbers. But he has the numbers. But guess what? The people following him don't want to buy underwear from him. The, what they want to buy? What they want to buy? What do they want to buy from him? What do they want to buy, Lex? There's some male models that have a following because they're like, oh, this is a bigger guy and I know he modeled for XYZ. Let me see what he got on today. Hoodies. Nobody is going let, to your Instagram to see what you got on. Let me ask no you, offense. Let me ask you a question. I was just using this for example. Can I, can I ask you a question? Shit on. Have you, you fly as hell, my nigga. Excuse nigga's. me. Like, that shit don't work. Big mama. Big mama. <laughs> big mama. I'm talking to you. Okay. Have you watched the Savage Fenty fashion shows? Absolutely. They have dudes up there that you don't even know who they are. Exactly. Correct? They have them in there as their runway models all different sizes and shapes, correct? Right. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't they give, if they would give him a deal before her, that's a problem, why? Because his with his audience, fo- with his uh, following, with his following, yes. With his reach, with yes. his numbers. And his beautiful yes. body. What the fuck y'all talking about? His so what? they his put him on a stage to walk and down there body. in a robe yes. and some drawers or whatever the case may be. No disrespect, Flip. They do Stop. that for him. The reach that Flip it has gets, been dying to get naked for a No, no, he's going to take his shirt off. <laughs> Go ahead, rock the, out, Flip. The only reason I say that is because I feel like when they're looking at, like, from a marketing standpoint, is his audience going to realistically click on his picture, go to savagefenty.com and buy the underwear he has on but if, more than her? If the decision if makers choose, thought yes, yeah, he's that. asking you, what is wrong with that? Nothing's. I'm not saying nothing's wrong with that, me, but I'm saying realistically, she's, saying, she's gonna outsell him yeah. when it comes to selling Savage Fenty. That's an assumption. I, 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 I don't. I don't know. That's that. an assumption. I don't, I don't, I don't know that. You gotta do your research. Hold on. One more question. One more question. One more question. Hold up, bro. One at a time, please. I don't want to talk over it. One more question. You can go. Okay. No disrespect, Mel. What has she sold that proves that? What has she sold that proves that? 
Yeah. Apple she, Bottoms, Hennessy. I'm not, no, no, oh, okay. up, 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 no, 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 no. Well, she should be able to answer. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm sorry. She should be able to answer. Can I answer? Well, in, the, in, in, in 2023, you just said this. Apple Bottoms. No disrespect. Go ahead. Uh, let, me, uh, oh, let me answer. What? As a, I'm, a li- I'm a little bit younger than Melissa. I'm not that much younger. But growing up, I remember looking at her and being like, that's the body I want. I want to look like that. I want, she still has that appeal, that sex appeal. Yeah. Women are still going she to look at does. her and be like, damn. Even women that are in, you know, we're, I'm in my mid-30s. I'm 34 years old. So a woman like me will see somebody like her post a picture in lingerie. I'll be like, you know what? Let me go get my Savage Fenty. Let me go put that on. That's the audience. You don't think, go, go, ish, I'm done. Let me ask you a question. If, if you're a company that already got that demo that Mel brings and you're trying to target a different demo, why would you not potentially go get flipped to see if that works out? You already know you got a sexy female demographic. You might want to reach a different target audience. So you go get flipped as opposed to Mel. Oh, I fuck off. You. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. cool. What? I'm not saying it's a problem. I think you deserve a Savage 50. I would I love don't... to see you want to thong, 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 thong. <laughs> Like, so, this is all they do. This is all they but do. What I, this is all they do. Turn on niggas. Yeah. No, hey, yo, hold up. Hey, yo, oh, listen, I've been hey, laying y'all. Slap, poor mom. <laughs> poor, nah. I've been laying y'all. Listen, nah. Nah. listen, man. Nah. We want to nah. thank oh. our oh. guests. Come on, give it up. Give it up. Give it up for our guests. From the Poor Minds Podcast, check out their podcast. They're also on the road. They are touring right now. Is it right we now? Are, you gotta come. We're Go to their show. Everything. You can find us at X. Oh. No, well, and she, she don't even know. Let, let, no, let, let, hey, let Lex do it, girl, like y'all rehearsed. P O U R M I N D S dot com. That's there where you can go. find everything. Yeah. Instagram, Twitter, all that good Poor stuff. Man, they don't promote right. Yo, October 28th, they're going to be at City Winery in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Perry, Perry, I'll October be in the building. October 29th, October, we're going to be in D.C. Talk that. There we go. October there you 13th, go. Get your date out there. We're going to be in Chicago at there City Winery. Go. The tickets are almost sold out, so make sure y'all get y'all tickets. And check them out on Amp, huh? Huh? Show. Amp hitting on money coming from all over. Yeah. That's when they start wearing the like uh, complexion matching pasties. We got that's what we got on. <laughs> and one more thing, and <laughs> we the one, lip gloss. The other bitches. It'd be the white pasty. Stand right out. Burgundy Burgundy pasty. dress. It'd be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> they, they got lip gloss. Get oh yeah, we got we both have on lip gloss. No, we don't promote. Lip it's over, girl. Musebeautycollection.com. Okay, Bill, billboard in Times Square. Talk that shit. Come on, y'all well, ain't we talking right. We said that, but we did have yeah. a billboard yeah, in Times Square. On I mean, Amp, have. Yeah, on Amp every Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Poor Minds drops every Friday. YouTube, Spotify, everywhere that you watch podcasts, you can catch us every Friday. Poor Minds is P-O-U-R. Yes, P O U R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not poor. Y'all shouldn't even think that they're poor. P O O R. Why would you think that? No, you fucking did. You ain't think that. All for that Fenty conversation. Does the same apply to Fashion Nova? But Fashion Nova has tight like if, Mel, like if Flip got a Fashion Nova deal because no. they have yeah. a men's line. Fashion Nova men. Well, yeah. no, really. Yeah, they, they have a men's line. line. That's so what I'm asking. I, I was I was just using Savage Fenty as an example, but I feel the same. I don't care who it is. I think I deserve a deal before y'all. Hey, <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, Joe. My, like body. people look at <laughs> with, you for the girl. You had a whole <laughs> app, you had a whole girl. Instagram page, and it was like Joe Budden fits. People look that, to you to see that, what you got that on. Wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't necessarily a good thing. But I like yes, the dance. No, no, everything about that page was great. You know it wasn't a good thing. You know no, what, what I'm saying? saying is they wasn't hot, they, that page wasn't there to highlight good fits. But they could. Mm. They could. You're right. Hmm. Watch yourself. Look, he looked at <laughs> hey, you. I see signs of you on ice. He looked you I know, up. So I know. Watch he, yourself. I know. I shut up. Oh, I shut up. Watch yeah. yourself. It's, it's a bunch of Ice Fits pages out there. It's about what? six of them shits. They tagging me like I'm going to promote you. No, fuck you. Last, <laughs> that, lastly, before I let y'all go, I feel like our male audience would hate me if I didn't ask. Did I ask everyone's dating life is? Oh, yeah. Dating life is great. I'll, what's that mean? I'm, we're good. Your status. Yeah, but you though. Huh? <laughs> you single uh, or taken, nigga? I'm never asking her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shit. You silly. Oh, what did you say? What did you say? <laughs> and he listening, so hey, go ahead and say hey, the wrong thing. He listening. <laughs> I ain't never asking <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Joe, we we gonna, we gonna send the tequila on that one. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? We gonna send the tequila. Nope. You got, you got the A upside down. 
What is you about to say? Nothing. We just want to hear you answer. answer. You Listen. ain't want to answer. Okay, cool. No, we know. We know. We out here, man. No, mm-hmm. yeah, dating is great. It's good. Mm-hmm. I'm having a blast. You're beautiful. I'm glad. I'm glad. You deserve. Thank y'all for coming. All jokes aside. <laughs> I love y'all. I support y'all. Yes. I wish nothing but great and grandiose things for y'all. And Thank it's you. coming. It's, it's coming. coming. It's there and it's coming. Period. Pause. <laughs> Double entendre. <laughs> Period. Pause. Make some noise before Mark. We out of here. Yo, real good show today, man. If any of the yelling was a problem for you, I apologize in advance, but... We passionate about what we do up here. And good to have some company up here. Shout out to Lex, Andrea. Mm-hmm. We love them. Friends of the love show. Love them. Love them. Shout out to Poor Minds. For sure. Shout out to Poor Minds. Check them out on the road. Yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arriba. Dirty. Hasta la vista. So long. Goodbye. Do remember life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. I had a lot of fun today. Me too. Mm-hmm. A lot of fun today. I really hope that the listening and viewing audience can hear us. I think that, I think we did all right. This was man. fun. Yeah. It was a little bit, but I think we did all right for the most part. This was fun, Very man. Very passionate. Remember, before we go, last but certainly not least, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. The closed-minded women want to teach you things. And some homeless women are acting like they got a problem with Netflix and chill being at your house. <laughs> <laughs> what else we going to do with yeah, that? They, yeah, they're they trying to act bougie. Let's take me to that restaurant. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, I miss that era of X or Twitter. Is Netflix and chill a date? <laughs> what do you think about $200 dates? <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, yo, after that Jay-Z shit went around, niggas was like, nah, I ain't picking the dinner no more. He wouldn't give his cousin some money. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Bustin' like you can't afford up. You up. You, hey, you know who you are, right? Take it low. Take it way lower than that. I fly private where I go. Ain't no layover. Now I got to cut you off, nigga, because you stunting too hard. You going crazy. I can't rap along with all of that. Ain't no layover on that. Pri- private where I go. Ain't no layover on that. I see y'all niggas out there with the uh, with the fucking uh, fucking Uber jet too. Carpooling, jet pooling. Mm-hmm. I see y'all out there trying to act like y'all friends with all them people on that jet. That shit's still expensive though. Y'all not friends. That shit's still. Cool. They not paying for it. <laughs> not niggas I'm talking about. Oh. Okay. They ain't paying for it at all. I don't care how many Instagram pics they taking some white linen. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't paying for some nothing. White that. That's like that's like fucking. Tr- trillionaire uh, Daniel Luck. Le- right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Back now you can sing it. There I go. Back, Back to tricking on your ass. ass. Oh, and that be president. Except for Nixon on your ass. ass. Oh, man. On, man. How y'all feel? Drake Friday. Drake Friday. Drake Friday. I'm, I'm ready. ready. I got through a whole pod without asking y'all about it. Drake Friday. Drake really Friday. Coming? Huh? You think it's really going to come out? Yes. Yeah, they, they announced the uh, radio show. Yeah, they did the OBO oh, shit. On Thursday. Thursday, 9 Thursday o'clock. night, 9 o'clock. That means it's really coming. Yep. That means happening. it'll actually be out before midnight. Okay. So They're going to play it in, in totality, and then it'll be out. I better hear something for the dogs. If I don't hear something slime, for the dogs, slime you out one, Nick. I'm coming in here mm-hmm. and slamming all that praying for Kai Sinat you're doing. I ain't gonna hold you. If I don't hear something for the dogs, I might go find me a wife beater and come in here like you did on the view shit. Yeah, I ain't mad at that, big guys. I ain't mad at that. Take us to the top. I'm gonna go get me one of them old shits. I better hear something for the dogs. And something better be for the dogs. Yeah, dead ass. It's my baby free weekend, too. <laughs> oh, come in here with dog masks on the nigga. You better have something for the fucking dogs, Drake. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, company mandate for the Halloween episode. Everybody has to come in with a uh, Halloween outfit. Oh, say okay. less. I don't Let's know if go. y'all got that. That's my bag right there. I'm with you it. Need to, you can call out that day. No, no, no. You don't have to come in at all. Nope, I'll be here that day. Company mandate ish. I'm sorry. Get you a helmet laying costume. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely should make commission off a couple of y'all out there, but they didn't want to explore that combo when it came up across socials. Great work. Today was so great, we get the long version. Pause. JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? JBP, 
JBP. Oh, this without the drums. Where would you be without yeah, this ain't the one without the drums. Another one. Nah, we smoked that today. They don't get drums today. Where would you be without the JBP? I never heard this. He played that one. That's like everything else that we play on this podcast. <laughs> 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 no, Joe Biden.